with the headphones. Okay, let's go back this way. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, it's got tracking! Oh, it's got tracking! That's rude. Oh, and it's got a shield? No, wait, I can do no damage to it. What? What? What is this? I'm perplexed. Oh, I I have to hit the ball? I'm playing tennis. I have to play tennis with it. Oh, that's funny as fuck. I I have to play tennis. That's great. No, the regular attack was doing it. Oh, boys. You you picked the wrong time there. Funnily enough, grenades don't care about grazing hits. So, uh, that works. Uh, wow, in fact, you could do that a second time. Can he really do that a second time? How many of those has he got left? Three. Fuck it. Totally worth it. <laughs> now that, ladies and gentlemen, is a war crime. <laughs> I don't know, that's just, that's just hit me funny. I don't know why. Why throw one gas grenade when you can throw two? Oh. Uh, okay, this is a... Oh, he's... Okay, he's got a shield, but that's fine. I've I've got I've got tentacles. Hello, sir. Can I introduce you to our Lord and Savior? Oops. He's not dead. Fair play. He's very not dead, actually. Oh God. Oh, I have to fight him in this room. Okay, luckily he's not. Oh, hang on. I had to hack my out the door. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Now he's dead. Oh! Oh my god! I hit him so hard, his... his... Oh dear. Be careful with your tentacles, ladies and gentlemen, otherwise this could happen to you too. I marked it just up the road. Alright. Oh, that's a... that's an entire... Convo, not convo, oh, yep, that's place. a that's a that's a posse. Yep. Shall I start minigunning? Uh, you want to start minigunning? I can. Oh, I can't. oh that was me! Sorry, I deployed my drone and it killed the helicopter. I forget he threw it up. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry about that. That's entirely on me. <laughs> Any landing that you walk away from, I guess. Yeah. Honestly, the bloody names of some of these systems are amazing. And the fact there's no hope for me to actually pronounce them. What was that noise? Oh, 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 oh. I mean, is that like hello in rock person? What the fuck was that? <laughs> that sounded like the start of a Disney movie or something. What the hell? Uh, form non aggression pact. Okay, so the Bin Penchan really like us. I mean, what? Come on. Holy shit, time to go. <laughs> Where, where am I extracting to honor? Because I need, I need. Oh, oh god, everything's exploding. Tremors detected. Well, yeah, no shit. We just introduced a black hole into the middle of the planet. How do we get out of here? Okay, we're going that way. Oh my god, there's fucking shriekers! Are you fucking kidding me? What? This is level one. We're not supposed to have shriekers. What the actual Christmas fuck? That's not right! Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Who 
a silly idea was this? Fuck me. Uh, yeah, right. Okay. Uh, hmm. He should not survive that. This enemy soldier is pinned down. Hello. Oh, I shot that guy instead. Oh, he broke my Overwatch. That's rude. A hundred and four? I'm gonna make it. Tell my agent. Release the nudes. A hundred and four? What the actual fuck? Well, uh, who's got the next best uh, skill other than Fox? Because she's the one that. Well, that's that was that was not ideal. That was not ideal. Well, uh, uh, no, no angle. Right. Let's just uh, park just just park road. in front of it. Yeah, that works too. Oh, I nearly just minigunned a village by accident. That, that would have been I mean, there. the village is shooting at us. Well, that's true. Oh, piss. Oh, oh my god! god. Jesus <laughs> Christ! What the fuck is happening? <laughs> <laughs> that ambulance was stopping for no one. Hot damn. I didn't realise it, it was that close, actually. I didn't realise the physics was on its side. What on earth? It had the mass advantage. It really did. What the actual? That shouldn't have <laughs> happened. Oh well. Points for it's effort. Like a helicopter. Uh, yeah, we have to. We have to just um, uh, talk about dismantling them because we're. I decided I don't like being a religious person. It's it's not fun. Our uh, presence in the galaxy has not gone by. On oh, they have a little heart. Oh no! Are these nice people? They might be nice people. No, look, they're, 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 they're symbolism. Good evening, everybody. It is I, Hamster of Wrath, double-checking that all this sound is working. It is good, glorious. Um, I hope you're all doing very well. We are playing a uh, brand new game. I have not, well, I say brand new. I've had a go at the tutorial a couple of times. Uh, this is Phoenix Point, and we're using the Terror from the Void, uh, total conversion mod type thing. Um... Uh, the command for it is on the screen. Uh, Terra from the Void, yes, T, T, no, T, F, R, T. You get the idea. It's on the screen. Um, we can uh, follow that to the uh, Steam Workshop and have a look for yourself. Hey, Silicon Soul, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Uh, there is one little weird little quirk with this. Uh, if I happen to click out into OBS, the sound goes. Which is a bit weird. So, uh, just don't panic if the sound disappears, because, uh... That's a weird little quirk I found when I was testing, but this is fine. Okay, let's get this show on the road, shall we? Now, um, we're gonna go with Veteran, because I feel Rookie is probably... I mean, despite my, you know, <laughs> regular approach to these kind of games, I think Veteran will do the job. Uh, we're gonna use the Prologue Tutorial. Promotional skins? I don't even know what that's... What, what even is that? I've got no idea. Sure. Let's use promotional skins. I got. I don't even know what that is. Uh, okay. Additional options on new game start. Faction background. Okay, I'm gonna go with the Phoenix Project because that sounds like a good idea. I don't know if all of these are the new settings from the new mod. I guess they are. Uh, starting squad unbuffed. That's fine. Difficulty on tactical, no change. That's fine. Disable saving on tactical. That's probably down to... I know... Some games, when they're heavily modded, they don't like saving mid-mission, so that's fine. Uh, the rest of these things, I know there's a, there's an absolute slew of options in here. I'm not going to touch any of those. We're just going to go it, do it as intended and see how we get on. Uh, hey, the Arcaus, I burnt my dinner. Not only am I sad, now I'm also hot and tired. That's sad, hot and tired and hungry, I guess. That's that's not good. Oh, well, I, I, hope, uh, I hope you can find a solution to that. Right, let's give it a go. That is a man in a pod. Like a man in the box, but different. A 
Sitrep is yellow alert. Other refugees are coming from the coast. 400 yesterday. The mist is coming fast. We need weapons, vehicles, and food. If there is anyone that can respond. We listened to the number stations every day. I took turns with Jacob, waiting for our signal. And finally, it came. A scarab got it too. It's AI directing it to our rendezvous point. We had no news from Symes for many months. Did he send the activation codes? I was desperate to know what happened to him. The mutants were on the march again. Something was happening. If the mist was back, then it meant that the Pandora virus was mutating again. Twisting the human form into new horrors. We needed to regroup, rebuild. But first, we had to get to that scarab. It's crap, people. It's always crap, people. Okay, so. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to have an awful lot of muscle memory from uh, XCOM 2 World of the Chosen. World? No, War of the Chosen. Wow. I was a little bit rushed for prep today. It's showing. Um, so hopefully that won't hinder me too much. Uh, right, yes, camera. That's okay, that's, that's fairly regular. This is the rendezvous point. The scarab is waiting for us right over there. Okie dokie. Hey, Major Buzzer, how's it going? Lovecraft Apocalypse. It does seem to be the case. Yes, that, that is the gist I got. I uh, hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. Now, the one thing I do like this over XCOM is that misclicking is very difficult to do because it actually gives you a confirmation for moving, which I really like. Uh, spotting enemies. We have indeed spotted an enemy. Uh, direct line of sight. Okay, yep, so far, so familiar. Uh, we'll press tab. Tab works for me. Uh, Tar's inside the blue area. Well, that doesn't look like he's in the blue area. That looks like a yellow area, but okay. I'm sure this has probably got something to do with it. Ah, oh, look, there was another person there. There's a surprise. Okay, your movement is interrupted if you spot an enemy. That I find... So I, I have, like, played the tutorial a couple of times just to familiarize myself. Uh, familiarize myself. I do like the fact that if you see an enemy, your, your dude just stops. So you can either, like, run back into cover or shoot it, depending on how you're feeling. Okay, fire. Now, this is something I'm going to have to get used to. There's, there's no percentage chances and stuff. And if you are standing next to somebody, there's a pretty good chance it's going to hit you. So uh, we're going to have to get used to that. Okay, uh, amount of damage your attack could deal. It's almost, I love that, almost guaranteed to kill the Arthron. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's, that's XCOM. That's a do-do-do XCOM moment. Almost guaranteed. Okay, cool. And there it is. Oh, he bled to death. Okay, that works. I was just, I was literally like, <laughs> and that's what we were saying about almost. Okay, you can end your turn at any time by putting the end turn button or the backspace key. But do I want to do that, though? Because is she out of AP? I think she's out of AP. So she's going to get horribly stomped on by this thing. Okay, fine. Ow. Now, you see, it looks like he's running away, but that looks like he's just put himself squarely into my line of sight, which is probably unwise. Uh, hey, my happy face, how's it going? Good old Terror from the Void, it's a good mod. Yeah, I haven't... I I basically uh, played the vanilla tutorial, like, once. Um, and everyone was saying good things about Terror from the Void, so yeah, I wanted to give it a go. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about that. I think what actually happened was it... Uh, I didn't kill him in my turn... I think he bled to death in his turn. I could be wrong. Now, this is something I quite like about this, is that you can do stuff like this, and I think I can even zoom in as, like, really far. I can actually pick the bits I shoot, so this is actually really quite cool. Um, so, I mean, we could, like, try and blow his leg off, which apparently will kill him. Um, but let's just go center of mass, because we're guaranteed to probably wipe him out regardless, so... There you go. Uh, finish the mission. All right. Okay. This now, must be the scarab. It's seen better days, but it will have to do. The Just thing I have a slight issue with this in, in this mission alone, you do not have Overwatch. 
So, me being me, I went scuttling forward like a lunatic, um, and didn't realise that you're actually way better off... Oh, why doesn't it move? Why doesn't it let me move with the, uh... Doesn't let me move with a mouse. Can I do mouse moving? Oh, hang on a second. Let's have a look at that. That's just going to be gameplay. No, interface. Uh, no, no, no. Keep up winding. Free camera. Yeah. Ah, okay. So I can only use using the keyboard. That's a bit weird. I'm so used to Battletech, we can move it around with a mouse, but uh, apparently you can't do that. But that's okay. Right, so I'm not going to go straight, right, legging it up there, because I know these guys can fucking motor. So we're going to go here. Uh, he's already seen him. I wonder if I can actually hit him from there. Nope, that's not going to happen. Um, I wonder if it's because I'm running this in borderless mode. Maybe that might have something to do with it. So actually, we're going to go here. Ah, there is in fact two. So there you go, that's a good reason to not come forward very far. Um, let's go here. And then, actually let's go there. And then end it there, then they have to come to us, and hopefully we'll be able to shoot them. Because these guys can fucking motor. Yeah, see? <laughs> they do not hang around, holy shit. Oh, there's three of them! I don't remember them being three of the last time I did this, but okay. Right, okay. Yes, we have many spotted enemies. You are indeed the lesser spotted enemy. Uh, okay, so we go here. We've got a fairly good chance of killing that guy. In fact, how much does it cost us to shoot? Uh, two. And I've got one action point remaining. Okay, so I'm going to have to take out the nearest guy. Okay, can I get him, like, square in the head? That'll be quite funny. Badoom. Yeah, now you see, that's the, that's like the anti-XCOM kind of moment there. It's like I was standing right next to the guy and I just domed him. So uh, that that's a good feature. I'm a little bit bummed out about not being able to move around with a mouse, though. That's, uh, that's a bit of an arse, but never mind. We'll get used to it. I think it might be because I'm using it in uh, windowed mode. Um, okay, so we probably don't have a good line of sight on... This or do we? Do we have a good line of sight on this guy? It's an okay line of sight. There is his head. I imagine most of it should actually hit him. Let's hope so. All right, not dead. But I can do that again because I didn't move. There you go. Right now, that guy's a little bit close, so we're gonna back off a little bit. And again, let him come to us, because we don't have anything in the way of Overwatch. Because it's the tutorial. He might still reach us, though. Yeah, see what I mean? These guys are fast. I don't like it. They're fast. See, this is the this is the totally not XCOM moment. This guy is literally staring us in the face, so this is where we shall point our gun. And, and that's as you'd expect, really. I don't think there's any more baddies, but I've been wrong before. Taking position. Uh, bracketed chance rather than a percentage chance. Uh, what do you mean by a, a bracketed chance? Uh, don't fully comprehend. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Hey Sixer, how's it going? Uh, yes indeed, Phoenix Point. That is indeed what we're playing. I say we. I am playing. The Royal We. Sprinting to position. 1 to 10 is this XCOM. Um, I'd say probably 6 and a half. <laughs> it's got some... It's got some... Uh, oh, I ended a turn. That was an oopsie. It does have some fundamental differences to XCOM. Uh, one of which I like, which is the... If someone is standing next to you, you're probably going to hit them. Versus XCOM, where you can miss somebody when they're standing next to you, which kind of sucked. But yes, we got a bit dinged up, but that's because we didn't have Overwatch, but that's okay.
So if this does feel a little bit on rails, I have I have done a couple of missions in the tutorial before just to familiarize myself. After several hours traveling, the howling noises stopped, and then so did the scarab. I did a quick survey around our position while Jacob talked to the AI. There was an abandoned government reclamation station nearby. These places are usually good for scavenging supplies and equipment, but they often attracted desperate gangs. The AI gave us the reason for our stop, an emergency rescue signal from another Phoenix operative. We had a location too, right in the middle of that station. The Scarab made it clear that we should attempt a rescue before continuing with our journey. Despite no sign of the mutants, our comrade was clearly under threat. The Scarab's missile launcher would prove very useful. We've got visual on the building. The Phoenix operative should be close by. There are hostels up ahead, so stay vigilant. I, I love how uh, it said Jacob talks to the AI. You can just imagine Jacob getting in the, the, the thing and saying, Why are you fucking stopped moving, you stupid computer? But yeah. Alright, four action points. Okay. Now I know uh, this is the mission we rescue the Heavy in, and the thing is, I, I have found so far that heavies are a bit weird because they are very, very slow. They can do the jumpy thing, but they can't jump and shoot because their gun takes three points to use, which I think is like, ugh. But yeah, whereas these guys, I think they're both assault class. They're very, very fast and very, very maneuverable, which I quite like. Reporting enemy contact. Okay. Uh, four highlighted zones, show you how far... Each AP spent on movement. Yep. Movement? Movement. Right, no. He's got a gun, see? So we want to be in cover, because in. guns hurt. There we go. Right, we'll come back to her. Can we see him from here? Yep, but then I suppose he could shoot around that. But then if I go here, I'm out of AP, so... Okay, let's tuck in here. Right there. Now I want to start another Phoenix Point campaign. <laughs> Right, now we have this thing, uh, which has missiles on it, so this is gonna be hilarious. We are not gonna use those just yet. We're gonna we're gonna uh, keep pace with the squad. But rest assured we will be using missiles at some point fairly soon. What's this? Was that the missile launcher? That's the missile launcher, okay. Right. So what'd that look like? That looked pretty good! Right, so I mean, I could go for like his torso, which does include some of his head, so maybe that would be painful. I mean, you'd assume it'd be painful. I mean, going for the gun's a bit pointless. Uh, let's try this. Decent. Decent. Right, now, they're still out in the open. So he's got two action points. Do I go into do I go into Overwatch just in case they're stupid enough to move? I'm gonna do that. Now if they go forward, that's gonna be a bad day. I mean, or we could just be incredibly vindictive and use the. Uh, oh no, we're out of uh, we're out of AP actually, so that's not gonna work. Hey, Pink Panther boy, is that the game XCOM without the suck? Now you see, I quite like X the modern XCOM games. I know a lot of people don't uh, weren't keen on them, but I I really didn't mind them. I quite like them. I got a lot of hours in uh, the, the new XCOM games. But yeah, there are some fundamental differences in this game that I am uh, quite fond of. So it is, it is somewhat different. Ah, uh, you see, he flinched. Oh, he's not dead, though. Ouch. Well, never mind. So much for cover, right? Right, okay. Hey, Bird Pies, I rated Modern XCOM a lot higher than this. <laughs> How many hours do I have in this game? Uh, I have about 50 minutes in this game, and most of it has been spent in the tutorial. <laughs> so this is... I, I am I am very new, new to this. Uh, hey, Bird Pies, how's it going? Yep, yep, very, very new. Oh, we can't see him. That's a very not not seeing him kind of moment. Right, I've managed to get one of my guys shot already, so that's good. Uh, okay, this should finish him off, surely. 
I mean, we, we could try it in style and go for his noggin. Let's try to go for his shoulder. Well, there you go. On about the third shot. Oh, did he drop something? I think he dropped something. That looks like loot to me. Right, uh, let's actually move the scarab up because it's infinitely more bulletproof than my people are. Uh, it's purist and all that. Yeah, I, I, I was very late coming to uh, XCOM, so it's it's more the later games that I'm more familiar with than the older ones, to be honest. An hour waiting at bus stops. That is that is never fun. That is never a fun time. Right, I've I've played this genre before. I don't trust this. We'll get that loot when we get that loot. Heading out. Oh, okay. So far, so good. What loot do you have, my pretty? Oh, we have found an ally. Okay, so we've got to get over there and wake him up. Okay, fairly familiar with that goes. We do have a tank. It's a very boomy tank. That I'm, I'm, I need to learn to wait until the enemy are a little bit closer so I can shoot them. Right, what we got? The Yat AR, Independent Assault Rifle. How does that stack up to the one I've got? 30, 1, 6, 17, 2. 30, 1, 6, 25, 2. So it is actually worse. Um, I don't know. Maybe I can sell it or something. I don't know. I'm going to pick it up anyway. All right, so that cost me an action point. Um, so I can get behind cover here if I so wished. That sounds like a good idea. And we'll stay there. Uh, he'll join you behind that cover. Uh, and if we move the tank, how do we get in here? Okay, so we can go around this way, or I could use the tank and smash my way in and we could take a shortcut. That might work. Let's see if that works. Uh, oh, it can't go through there. Boo! I wanted to smash things! Oh, okay. Guess we're taking the long way around then. Nearly ran over my own cover, that would have been glorious. Uh, Margit the Fell. Oh, is that Elden Ring? Yeah, I, I, I like that other people enjoy Elden Ring because I don't think I'd be very good at it. <laughs> I think I get too too salty too quickly. Now, the only slight problem with the uh, this is that because it's a very large target, it's very easy to hit, and they just damaged my fucking launch system by the looks of that. So. Where was that motherfucker? Because I'm going to see if I can light them up. That's a hotel room on wheels. <laughs> yeah. Do we think this will this will actually do anything? I'm sorely tempted. I should probably get a little bit closer first, actually. Okay. And where were they? They were there. Right. Because if I blow that up, I imagine they'll fall on the ground. So let's give this a go. And loop. And that looks good. Solid! Well, they're having a bad day. I think they fell down. Yep, they're now on the second floor. Okay, that's good. <laughs> uh, get the big Command and Conquer bundle. Yeah, some of the some of the old Command and Conquer games are really quite good, actually. Oh, and there's somebody else. Uh, yes, I'm fully aware they're carrying firearms. Shooting lines. Can shoot the enemy from there. Yellow lines indicate can't attack. Okay, that's fine. Well, I was about to take cover behind this car, which I think is a good idea. Right, can I hit them from here? 
I mean, they're standing out in the open, but it is a bit far away. Uh, okay, that's not going to do an awful lot. That's a bit... that's a bit far. Praetorian 2 body armor. Praetorian 2 helmet? Okay. Let's just go for center of mass. I don't think this is going to do much, but at least they'll know we're here. That's respectable, actually. I'll take that. Um, and he can't see anything. Right, no cover behind the tank. Okay, that's interesting. Um, let's go... Let's go free this guy up. Hey. Omar Ashor recruited. Is a heavy class soldier, proficient in heavy weapons and armor. Massive damage from short ranges and withstand attacks. I mean, he withstands attacks until he doesn't, I guess. Right. No weapon. Try out on top of a nearby tower might contain useful items. Use the jump jet ability to get to the crate. Oh, okay. I see. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna like tuck in here because he is very slow. And I don't want him standing out in the open. That feels like a very bad idea. Um, okay, that's about all we can do there. Was that all his AP? That was all his AP. Uh, hey, Moon Eyes! I would have thought that Jagged Alliance would have cured you of this sword game. No, I like these kind of games. I actually, I actually get on better with these guy, these uh, kind of games um, than I do the resource management stuff. I think, to be honest. But welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, okay. Where is he? Oh, he's behind there. So no line of sight. Okay. I'm assuming these barrels don't explode. I'm going to take a risk and assume they don't explode. I could be wrong. We'll soon find out. Right, so I can't see him. Let's give it some of that. Right, where is Jacob? Not Jacob, Omar. Uh, right, so he's got four action points. If I go here... Oh, we can still use the jet jump. Oh, hello! Heavy torso armor comes with jetpacks, allowing soldiers to fly over obstacles and reach very high points. Okay. And air loop. Well, that's fun. Uh, thanks for the follow, Jake OT. Welcome, welcome. Right. Uh, oh, not enough action points. Okay, so we're going to have to wait until next turn to do that. That's something I've got to be aware of. Uh, right. If... I think Jacob should back him up here, unless he can get to cover outside, which he can't. Uh, I mean, we could just cheat outrageously and use the rocket, actually. But, I mean, how many of those have we got? Uh, 10 out of 12. So how much does that use each shot then? Does that use two per shot? Action points? Oh, I don't know, okay. Let's move up a little bit. Breaking my own cover as I go. That's that's always good. And just for shits and giggles, I'm going to rain merry hell down on this person. Well, he's not feeling very well, is he? Though he did pick the right cover to hide behind, because it's the only thing left intact, so that kind of works. Um... Okay, we could get... Oh, okay, no, we could get out here. Okay, that's good. Let's get out there under cover. That works. Uh, you can't do an awful lot. Broke his gun. Well... Oh! I really did break his gun. Holy shit, he is now gunless. I didn't notice that. That's quite funny. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, he bled to death. There you go. <laughs> He's not feeling very well. And whose fault is that? I mine, I guess. Uh, any new enemies will be arriving from them, so don't leave your soldiers exposed. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, this is the, uh, this person is called Gutgash. I am, oh dear. Okay, he's an Overwatch. Okay. Right, let's sort out our heavy. Let's get the, let's get the juice going on with the heavy. Right, tier one assault cannon. Uh, med kit. Let's put that in the, uh, backpack for now. Ammo. More ammo. This is gonna take three turns for this guy to get sorted, I feel. Yeah, but you didn't put any uh, bullets in it, goddammit. Will they make bins of? I think the bin exploded, didn't it? He he was it was a concrete pillar he was hiding behind. This is a concrete pillar, though that isn't still very sturdy for a concrete pillar. Okay, so it costs zero points to reload, and he's got so he could fire his gun, but I can't see anything. I literally I can see a crate. <laughs> I can shoot the crate. Um Okay, and then if he moves, he's not going to be able to shoot. So we should jump back off here, I think. Let's go... Oh, no. Concrete armor it is, yeah. Do not fire at your own feet. That is, that is good advice. Whee! Okay, so we've got will points. That's a thing. Recover. Recover will points equal to half willpower. Divide any viral damage by two and become immune pa to panic for one turn. Okay, I don't know what viral damage is, but I'm not sure I want to find out right now. Right, so this other person was around here. They've set Overwatch because they think I'm going to be crazy enough to come screaming up there like a madman. But I'm not. I'm going to be relatively smart about this. And hope they're as dumb as I am. No, wait, that didn't come out right. Uh, maybe it did. I don't know. Uh, there we go. I see them. Oh, oh. What do you see? Different guy? Oh, there's a new person. Okay. Um, let's... Hmm. Okay, let's stick to plan... Actually, no, let's not stick to plan A. Let's reshift to plan B. Now, that I like, because now it's kind of like, wait, I'm reassessing my life choices... I've decided that actually going this way was a bad idea, and I'm actually dodging dodging right. So uh, let's go with that. Um, this hasn't moved, so I'm gonna leave it there for now. I'll try that robot game. We see the timeline. Is that uh? I keep calling it. I keep calling it Strange Brigade. It's not Strange Brigade. It's Phantom Brigade, isn't it? <laughs> Complete nonsense. This is you, hamster. It's very true. Uh, right, this guy's not very well. Um, what class is he? is he? Is he their version of a heavy? And I hear their, their version of a scout. Okay, what if we... Okay, the likelihood of me hitting that is quite low. Uh, but I want to yeet something over here for comedy values. So this, this, let's see if this actually does anything. It's quite far. Yeah, that's not surprising. That kind of missed. <laughs> um, I I wasn't super blown away. I thought it looked like a very clever idea. And I know some other people really enjoy it, but I, I don't think it's really my jam. Haven't actually tried it, but I wasn't kind of like, must try immediately, you know? Right, if you hit anything here, this is going to be impressive. Nope, didn't think so. Zero damage. Okay. Well, that works for me. Oh, that's their heavy. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. Right. Okay. So, we probably really want to exercise rocketry on him, because he's a heavy. So, let's try that. I mean, we've got to blow the front of the uh, building off first, but I'm okay with that. Nice! No, oh wow. That was actually pretty good. Uh, He's having a very bad day now. That is good. 
Right, now, my heavy. Uh, now, this is the thing I had slight, I had a slight issue with this class. Because it takes three action points to shoot, and it takes two action points, it takes three action points to jump. So they can't, it's very difficult to move and shoot with these in the same turn. So I was kind of like, I'm trying to figure this out. So I guess you have to set them up early and or stick them out in the open and they just tank the shots. I don't know. It's it's um, I felt it was a bit of a weird option. And I can move here and shoot that person, apparently. So let's do that. That'll be better in the future. Oh, OK. So now I can actually I can still shoot. Oh, yeah, that's actually that's OK. I'll take that. Okay, so if we hit this guy, it's going to be a very bad day, I think. That was very quiet. That was the quietest gun I've ever heard. This character is dazed. Uh, one action point and 50% accuracy for one turn. Shock damage. Oh, was that what I was doing? I was doing shock damage? Okay. Right. Um, what else we got? Okay, that's heavy cover, but I can actually see things. Right, what'd that look like? Oh, all I can see is his head. Um, I mean... If it works, it'll be glorious. I think I dinged him. Uh, okay, can't do anything else, because I've only got one AP left. Jacob, what can you do? Okay, if I stick you around the side, everyone's going to be able to see you, which is not ideal. But if you go there... Oh, you can apparently see no one. Why is that, do we think? Okay, let's... Uh, that is odd, actually. Oh. <laughs> He's literally got a giant corrugated fence in his face. That explains why he can't see shit. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, hmm. I'm going to just stick him on Overwatch, I think. See if this guy comes around the corner. Though, whether I can see anything there is a bit of a question mark, but there we go. Alright, that's not going to move. He's not going to move. This will be fine. Probably. Ow! I think somebody just bled to death. That's handy. Or he just yelled, ow. One of the two. <sighs> it's, it's fine. Oh, he just, he just did nothing. Except move himself out of cover, apparently. Okay. Shall I just rocket hit him to finish him off? I think I've only got like one or two salvos left in this. This is overkill, but, uh, well, it's overkill if it hits him. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, oh, oh dear. Well, the good news is I didn't have anyone at the top of that tower uh, that would have eat that rocket. So that's uh, <laughs> that's a good thing to know. So it won't automatically avoid terrain if it deviates. That's a very, very important distinction. <laughs> I could have blown up my own guy there. That's amazing. Hey, Quidless, how's it going? Okay, lesson, lesson learned on that one. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, uh, now this guy's pretty short range, so, I mean, they say he's a tank, so why not, why not let him tank, I guess? Um, or just shoot, that's probably a smarter idea. Oh yeah, this guy's virtually dead, in fact, I could probably take him out with the other assault rifle, actually. Oh, except I can't see them. Now I can. Right, okay. Nope, nope. Let's go for this one. Where is he? There you are. Wait, why does that say zero? Oh, it, it's, it's not actually giving them any protection. Okay, so I should just kill them. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Very dead. Right. Uh, Jacob, can you see anything? No. Okay, but if you come up here... Then do this. 
If he comes forward, he's going to have a very bad day. Right, is that... Oh, yeah, you haven't shot yet. Okay. So if we go here, and then do this, despite the fact this is not really the weapon you do Overwatch with, as far as I can tell. Okay, dinked him. Oh! Ah, oh, now that is pretty cool. Okay, so that's pretty neat. Now that I like. So what happened? He kind of like, he, she, they ran like behind the uh, wall here, which didn't trigger my overwatch. But in order to fire, they leant around the corner, which did trigger my overwatch. I like that. That's actually quite nuanced. I am I am fond of this. I overwatch with everything I own. Yeah, it's not a bad shout. Overwatch with an RPG, yeah. So, what does this look like? Pretty okay, actually. Well, I don't know, it's a bit far. Um, fuck it, I'm gonna do it anyway. Wait until it happens to you. Oh, inevitably, it's it's gonna happen at some point. But I like it. I like I like the idea. That was middling. Let's try that again. Okay, they are probably dying in their turn, so that's good. This person's at the back on Overwatch, but that doesn't matter so much because they're miles away. Uh, Overwatch takes two action points, so I can take a shot, except I can't because I can't see anything. Never mind. Uh, is there anywhere I can go in order to see them? No? Alright. I was less happy with the nuanced and red instead raging mad. <laughs> slander! Absolute slander. But you're probably right. Oh yeah, I forgot I have- right, I think I got one dose of rockets left. Okay. Overwatch guns, bolt gun, melt gun, plasma gun, long rifle. I mean, that, that covers most bases, doesn't it? I mean, that's that's most of the exotic death options that you've got in Necromunda. Right, most of these are probably going to miss, but hey-ho. And then it becomes a, 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 a four-wheel distraction. Okay, he ate that one, so that's okay. Okay, so it can't reload. Okay, so what we can be is just be a big irritant. So, uh, I'm going to drive over here. Breaking my own cover, very nearly. And actually getting in the way of my own guy, which is uh, pretty impressive, actually. That was probably not my smartest option. Uh... Wait, I can still, sh I can still shoot from there? Oh yeah, okay. That works. If this person emerges out this doorway, they're going to have the worst day. Oh, and... Oh, missed! Missed entirely. Impressive. Okay, they've overwatched. I am out of ammo. Reloading. I like reloading does not cost you action points. Our APT has no internal ammo storage. Uh, this one doesn't. Whether it will in the future, I have no idea. Uh, can we see? Oh, we can see somebody. Who can we see? Is it the really damaged one? Ooh, I've got to do nine. I've got to do nine damage. But that's like that's literally a leg and an arm. Let's try it. You never know. In fact, we go like here. That works. Unfortunately, I'm out of ammo. XCOM on the cheap by the guy that only has one creative idea. I wouldn't go that far. I mean, I've literally been playing this. I've only like barely got an hour into it and I, I am not that offended by it. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, okay, we still got the heavy guy. 
who also can't do an awful lot. Oh, wait, you can see them from there? Oh, yes, you can. Now, you see, I completely forgot about the whole Overwatch thing, but he completely missed due to the magical concrete bunker. So I'm okay with that. But I did completely forget about the Overwatch. <laughs> and I missed entirely. That, that, now that was an XCOM moment right there. That was amazing. It did say it was short range. It turns out, like, hardly anyone in this is actually a particularly good shot today. It's, uh, it's kind of funny. Right, can I get a good angle? That does not look like a good angle to me, but the game says it is, so let's try it. Acquiring target. It is a good angle. I take it back. And that's your lot. Glad you found some gear, because you're gonna need it. Now you're part of my squad. Now you see, technically it was like rescuing or press gang, or a little bit of both. Well, I just like takes a, gl a glancing hit and it's like badly injured. I was like, didn't think it's that badly injured. After the battle, the Scarab resumed its course towards our base, struggling through the rough terrain. Strange growths were contorting the road, smashing against its armor. It wasn't long before it took one too many hits. The engine gave a loud crack and the AI went dark. We had lost a valuable member of the team. We knew we were close to our destination, but we didn't know what we would find there. If we were to advance on foot, we had to exercise extreme caution. Approaching the base, we heard gunshots. Jacob and Omar took positions by my side. What was going on inside? A bandit ambush or something much worse? Following Phoenix protocol, we readied our weapons. It is time to reclaim our home. Yeah, that's basically... Likely. There are hostiles up ahead. Let's get rid of them and clean up this mess. You couldn't, ha you couldn't keep the tank. It was too good, so tank had to break. Also, we're indoors, and so we didn't want you to wreck the base. Yeah, it was a bit of hotel on wheels. It's true. Okay, now this, this particular section I have done a couple of times in the tutorial, and it can go one of two ways. I either it goes very, very well, or it goes very badly. So. When have I actually, if I actually saved recently? I'll stick a new save in there. There we go. Completely forgot about that. Oh, I thought saves were disabled, but apparently they weren't. Okay, works for me. Uh, they only get XP if they get the, do the kill shot. Oh, okay. Tube is more effective in indoors. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, the, the, we were talking about this, like, uh, I, I was talking amongst uh, some some friends of mine last night. It's like, I, I always wonder when people, like, get, like watch a game, and then people are kind of like, well, this game's kind of, I don't like this game very much. It's like, well, if you don't like the game very much, feel free to kind of, you know, go watch something else. <laughs> it's like, hmm. But, you know, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying this so far. Right, Omar. He can't walk very far. Omar does not go very far. Omar has found a friend. Tank will be missed. Yes, tank is very much missed. Yes. Uh, what the fuck is that? Poison worm! Okay. What are the likelihoods I'm going to miss this thing? I'm very high, apparently. So that's a good start. Uh, can we see it without actually... I keep forgetting how short range that cannon is, honestly. Let's try that again, shall we? Oh, oh my fucking Christ. 
Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> you know, like, this totally isn't like XCOM. It's having a fucking XCOM moment right now. Holy shit. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> We've got one last hope. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a step backwards. And he's going to take a step backwards. And I hope this fucking works. No visual, but I can hear commotion coming from the hangar. We must investigate. We will, we will. Right, are we going to get this worm? Oh my god! Okay, so... Here's the thing. I have a funny feeling when I played this in vanilla, those things were not as scary, not as tough as that, but we should be able to deal with it this time. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea what the vehicles do as the the progression goes on. on Maybe we will have uh, different options. I've got no idea. There you go. Fourth time of asking. We actually killed the damn thing. Right. Okay. Uh, ooh, loot. Okay. So this is definitely a watch your doors and corners moment. So, how far can I go and overwatch? Okay, so let's let's not be too crazy here. Rolling out. I don't trust that corridor. As corridors go, I don't trust it. Um, okay, so we're going to move Omar up probably a little further because he's so slow. We kind of need him further up so he can be more effective. So, let's see how that pans out. Uh, Sophia's out of juice, so that's fine. Oh no, she can go further. Sorry, I keep thinking, my, my brain is just like, the yellow is as far as you can go. No, it isn't. That's, 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 that's a big fat lie. Okay, uh, loot. Someone's having a bad day down here. Uh, ally located. Uh, oh, they've been poisoned. Oh dear. Best fix that. Not sure what happened there, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say it probably wasn't good. Right, can we reach her and use the med kit? I'm going to go with probably not. Okay, sniper class. We like sniper classes. Okay. Oh, we can use the med kit. Can we? No. No, we can't. Not enough action points. Didn't think so. So, I'm afraid you're going to have to get poisoned a bit more, uh, I'm afraid. So, sorry about that. Right. Let's watch the corridor. They hugged a poison worm? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I, I will say at least in this, if you've got something standing right next to you, you're gonna hit it. Like, likewise, if if you are standing next to something, it is gonna hit you, which which I think is is quite a difference. But I do I do have a lot of muscle memory coming off XCOM, so uh, it's it's likely to be quite amusing as time goes on. Uh, you don't have a med kit, do you? No, that's annoying. Can you steal the med kit off him and use it on yourself? Now we're thinking with portals. I'm going to steal his med kit and use it on myself. How's that? Action economy! Come on! Now that is something in the couple of times I've ran through this tutorial that has not occurred to me until just now. But do 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 action economy. V 
that the corridor doesn't like me either? No, probably not. I can't blame the corridor. Some days I don't like me either. Right, okay. Hey, let's go, how's it going? Uh, now, something makes me think that crate, if my memory serves me, that crate is full of sniper-related kit, so we might as well get the sniper over there. Yep, okay, cool. Yeah, like I said, I have actually run through the tutorial. I haven't run the tutorial through with this mod, but I have run through it a little bit before. Uh, don't have enough action points, that's fine. So we've got Cypher Handgun. Grenade. Odin Grenade. Uh, sure. Wait, I have zero action points and I can still move? Okay, that's interesting. Uh, ever play Aliens Dark Descent? I did play Aliens Dark Descent and I found it massively frustrating. <laughs> I honestly, ah, uh, I don't know what it was about it. It just, I found it rage inducing because a lot of it was like pixel hunting and it's like you'd miss a face hugger by a pixel and then your guy's boned and it was just like, oh, it, but it was an interesting, interesting game in the franchise. Not really for me. And then actually I failed it because there's a bit where you get to a nuke countdown and it turns out, and I had no idea this was going to happen, I hadn't left enough time to do what we needed to do before the nukes go off, so I'd locked myself into a fail state. And I was like, I had no idea I've locked myself into a fail state, but I did it like three hours before I knew it was going to happen, so it was like, I, I'm not keen on this game anymore. <laughs> so that's, that's my experience of Alien Stark Descent. Rolling out. Other people love it. I I got angry at it. Area covered. Skill issue. Yeah, sure. No one's ever said that to me before. Hey, Math. Thanks for the day. Hydrate. <laughs> or slightly wonky game design, in my humble opinion. Yeah, it is. It is XCOM esque. Yes. It has got some fundamental differences, but it is XCOM-esque. Right, can I have this funky handgun? Uh, spare medkit. Uh, spare ammo. And a grenade. Don't mind if I do. And frankly, uh, you can just cover that corridor. Nothing's getting past me. Right, where's Machonka? Here I come. Doing some Stellaris. Uh, tight spot of war in heaven. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I, I like Stellaris. I have to be in the I have to be in the right kind of I have to be awake to play, play Stellaris. There's so much management in it, but it is a fun game. We kind of uh, we kind of oopsied on the last playthrough. We kind of made everyone every, it turned into a it turned into a giant hug box last time I played it, which was not really ideal. Uh, am I going to accidentally overwatch myself? I need to be careful about that. That would be very unfortunate if I did. Come on, something come around the corner, I dare you. Alright, never mind then. Right, uh, let's get Jacob, who's one of our speedy boys. Watch your elf I see. Steady? Take Overwatch positions and wait for them to come. That's what I've been doing! Uh, 450k and 100k away from being able to beat it. Woof! Yeah, those are some big, big military numbers. I hope I don't shoot the crate. That'd be embarrassing. I was watching somebody play uh, that 
yesterday. In my humble opinion, Lost Core, it didn't look great. <laughs> it looked a little bit on the janky side. But since it doesn't cost anything, uh, have at it. I've noticed a distinct absence of anyone coming around the corner. God damn it. I'm on the move. I don't trust it, however. Oh yeah, the main star bases have like thousands of military Nothing's points going on. They are they are quite terrifying. Nothing's getting past me. I'll keep both eyes open. Well, I mean, keeping both eyes open is a good idea at the best of times, really. Come on, something come around this corner. I dare you. It's not going to happen. He's borderline smart. Okay, I mean, well, let's face it. All we're going to do is do that exact same thing again. Because <laughs> why would I run out of the corridor when I'm nice and comfy here? Let's be honest. Nothing's getting past me. Yep, time for, time for seafood. Okay, I'm going out limb here and saying Overwatch is not the best choice for the big gun. Nice! Did, did you see the little, like, Pippin-esque little jump he tried to do in the middle there? And, and my sniper was just like, Ah, uh, fuck you, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm getting I think I need to start what are the stats on this thing actually? That's that's something I need to look at. Can I is there like a, a stat thing? It says effective range 20, which is only actually three squares less than the assault rifle. Oh, five squares less than the assault rifle. So I mean it's 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 a shorter range, but it's not like drastically shorter. But okay. I mean, we do have grenades, but I am not wasting those right now. So this guy is pure melee, so his literally his only option is to come out. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to put Jacob a little closer this time. And then put him on Overwatch again. Either that or this guy's going to bleed to death in his turn, one of the two. Oh, I can actually see him from there. Never mind. Ready to engage. Uh... Which, I can see his arm. That counts as his arm? Apparently that counted as his arm. I'll take it. So it turns out that that wasn't cover. That was, that wasn't. <laughs> good, good to know. Good, good, to, good to find out. Just need HP to try this game out. I'd much you loved XCOM 2. Yeah, yeah, that'd probably be in his wheelhouse, that's for sure. I'm going in. I'm going in. Right, still don't trust this corridor. Right, sniper lady. Uh, go there. And everybody chill, I think. Oh, little wormy. Oh, and a mind fragger. That, that looks like a fun time. Oh, shit. Well. He successfully navigated my Overwatch. That's slightly worrisome. Should a short-range Overwatch cone and shoot it down as approaches? Well, I failed to do that. 
shoot the target creature with a single shot weapon or kill it in melee with a bash. I mean, literally Sophia's standing next to him, so if we bashed him... Ugh. And that's why wearing a helmet is a good idea. Yeah, what was the other game I played that everyone said was similar to um, Wasteland 3? Um... I can't remember. Tag of the Lions, wasn't it? Tag of the Lions has got a bit in, in common with uh, Wasteland. Wasteland 2. Ha <laughs> ha! Take care of your friend, bash him in the head with gunstock. Do you know what? The funny thing is, uh, dependent on how this tutorial goes, I actually did shoot someone in the head to remove one of those at one point. Um, whether we'll be repeating that, I don't know. Right, what does this look like? This guy's not very good at long range. It's not even long range, that's like mid range and he still can't hit it. Right, that is a very, very short range gun that he's got. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Lesson learned on that one. That is a short ass ranged gun. How's his accuracy? Uh, good question. I don't even know if accuracy is even a stat. Area covered. Well, somebody's out of ammo. Underrated? Yeah, I remember uh, uh, seeing, uh, reading good things about it. Right, now if I remember, I believe this crate is full of stuff for the heavy. So... Can I jump indoors? Oh, I can only jump a very, very short distance indoors. I mean, that kind of makes sense when you think about it. Yes, the tiny slugs were very hard to hit with a big gun, that's true. Oh no, this is, uh, this is like, um, assault stuff, but I will take a grenade, though. They can have the rest of it, but I'll take a grenade. Right, I'm gonna go here and cover the corridor. Nothing's getting past me. As is Sophia. A mime or a clown? <laughs> awesome. And sniper lady can take up a residence at the back here. And what's the worst that could happen? Uh, nothing, apparently. I'm on the move. Oh shit, that's not what I wanted to do at all, but that's okay. Let's get Omar. I thought I actually had Omar selected, but I did not. Let's get Jacob over there. I'll be right there. Space Station 13 hours, yeah. <laughs> At some point, one of my guys is going to run out of ammo, which is going to be a little bit embarrassing, but, you know, it'll be fine. Just realized none of us are covering the corridor. Um, might want to get on that. Right, I'm going to put Omar a little bit forward because he needs all the help he can get. Nope, we're good. Okay. No one knew who I was until I put the nose on. <laughs> oh, what's that from? Uh, no one knew who I was until I put on the mask. Bane, isn't it? That's Bane. I think that's Bane. Is it Bane? I don't know. Can't remember. Oh, is that a mind fragger? That's a mind fragger. Right, short Overwatch code. It says. Area covered. Let's make that several short Overwatch cones and see what happens. Rolling out. Either that or somebody's gonna get a happy FaceTime again. Ah, oh, it was Bane. Yeah, Dark Knight Rises, yeah. 
My god, did that film give rise to a thousand memes. Good god. Get me the tacos! Get me tacos! You know, that kind of thing. Nothing's getting past me. You say nothing's getting past you. Got it that time. Oh, look, there's another one! Hey! Two for two! I'm okay with that. Right. Assuming. Okay, that's a lot. That's a shut door. I'm assuming there's going to be nothing else around that corner. I could be wrong. The door is shut. So we'll have to use those ladders. Go, go, go. <laughs> that reminds me of like Lord of the Rings. The door is shut. We cannot get out. I'm on the move. It's your base. You think you should have the keys for it. I'm going in. The door is shut. We forgot the keys. Well, I suppose if the door is shut, you could just open the door. If the door's locked, then you're forgetting, you're forgetting your keys is a problem, but yeah. Uh, really? Oh, I can get that. Okay. If the door is locked, bomb the door. I mean, that's, that's one way around it. Yep. Right, okay, so Jacob's got the mobility here, so let's... You can get up, get behind there, and then cover the entrance way. That might work. I'll be right there. I kind of wish we could use the jump pack, and he would just like ricochet off the 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 the, the sort of ladder well on the way up. That could be quite funny. Right, that's covered. Right, I guess I almost called her Sophitia. That is not her name. That is somebody from Soul Calibur. Rolling out. I don't think Safitia would be very useful in this particular situation, just putting that out there. Nothing's getting past me. Right, Omar, you slow boy. Um get up here. Right, and the must snapper. Oh, my sniper went like over here. That might be an idea. Moral support would skyrocket amongst the male crew. Yeah, probably. That's not regulation uniform! It's okay, we don't mind. Um, okay, maybe, I think, is that the heavy crate? This might be the heavy crate. Let's go have a look. Yes, that's the heavy crate. Okay. Extra ammo, which is good. Already got a grenade, two med packs. He's already got a med pack. Uh, not too worried about that. Right, he can't do much. She can overwatch the doorway for now. Um... Did Jacob have a med pack? Oh yeah, we did have a replacement med pack. Um... Oh, wait, he's already got a grenade and a thing. In fact, he's got two two magazines. Maybe Sophia should have one, actually. Okay, let's not worry about that for now. Area covered. Does she have anything in the way? She had... Oh, she doesn't have a spare mag. Okay. She probably should, like, half-inch the spare mag off him, but never mind. I'm not trusting something to not come through that door. i got to be brutally honest with you. I'm on the move. Which is probably good instincts, considering this type of game. Nope, fine. Okay. Um. Right, I've boxed myself in here. That's quite clever of me. Right, Sophia. Oh, bollocks! I was gonna, I was gonna get the spare mag off him, and I utterly forgot to do that. Never mind. How 
over encumbered are you? Not very. Okay, we're not going to need all of these, but well, let's hope we don't need all of these. Right, you got two AP. Let's overwatch the door. Nothing's getting past me. Also, overwatch the door. Nothing's getting past me. Get to Act Two yet, and Ghost. Uh, I think we just we did the castle. Um, the first castle, which I think is the official end of Act One, isn't it? I think. So yeah, I'm still there's still a lot to discover in um. That's it. I freed the uncle. That's the one. There's still quite a lot of exploring to do in this in this southern bit. Um, but yeah, I think we've uh, I think we've gotten to the second part of it. Yeah. Softly, softly, catchy. I might be just being slightly paranoid with this Overwatch, but you know. Okay, fair enough. Apparently, there's nobody here. So far. There really isn't anyone here. Okay. Did they lie to me? Let's go. Right. Well, I'm going to do that. I'm also going to do that. Are we good? Okay. I'm not seeing it. Oh, there is a contact down here. Oh, that's not awkward at all, is it? Son of a bitch. Okay. Um, where's my sniper? Okay. Huh. Now, I have a funny feeling, because I have done this tutorial before, just to test things out. I think that's our guy who's got the brain bug on him. But the annoying thing is I can't actually fucking see him. Um, so what I'm going to do, and the other thing I discovered as well, is if you duck behind here, you can't aim down. Whereas if I go here, I can aim down to the second floor. So let's try this. Target Somebody looking. bashed that thing off his face. I mean, yeah, or we could just shoot him. That could be quite funny. Oh, single shot weapon. Okay, I guess that's the sniper's job. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, yeah. We need we need to get the sniper up there. Uh, That's not going to work, is it? Yeah, she's not going to be able to see it. Um, Okay, we're going to have to do that next time around. Unless shooting the pistol requires... Oh, it's empty. Son of a bitch! Swapping ammo. Um, that's annoying. Because now I don't have enough AP to shoot at the head. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, Sh shoot it. Shoot it with the uh, fully automatic uh, assault rifle and watch the guy's head come off. Yeah, exactly. That would be mission failure. Um. Okay. Not really much else we can do because I don't want to kill this guy. I'm going in. I hope he doesn't come up the ladder and shoot us. That could be quite embarrassing if he did that. That's what he's going to do, isn't he? He's going to come up the ladder and shoot us. I can feel it. Which obviously I don't want to overwatch him because I don't want him to die. This is going to go very funnily. Oh no, no, he just—he's going to shoot. Oh no, he's just. Oh, my backstop worked. Look at the speed that thing can do. And he has a friend. He has a friend? He has a friend. He has two friends. We'll find out if they know how uh, ladders work in a minute. Right, okay. Where's my sniper? Right, I'm gonna use the pistol. That works.
Wait, is he... Did he literally just turn his back on us? I mean, okay, that's fine. Wait, that's gonna be... Hang on. Okay, so the assault... Uh, assault rifle can take care of that, no problem. Uh, there's another one on the ground floor, which I don't think we can actually get to. Hmm... That works. The first time I heard that, I thought that's the noise the aliens made when they disappeared. Like a farting balloon, but I think it's just like a musical sting. <laughs> right, Jacob, did you have a spare mag? You did have a spare mag. How much ammo has Sophia got? Oh, actually, Sophia's rifle's fairly full. That's not a problem. Right, now in order to hit anything, I think I have to go here. Yeah, okay. Omar, what can you do? You can do nothing because you are very, very slow. Yeah, I'm just... I'm honestly not a big fan of the heavies. Aliens are just full of helium, yeah. Yeah. Exactly so. I mean, I could jump down there and activate that guy and then he could shoot that. That might work. Can I jump down there? Uh, no, I can't. Is that lying to me? Oh, okay, so it's only where the squares are. Okay, that's a bit poop. Hmm. So, she can't hit anything. Ugh, irritating. Okay, so let's get, uh... Sophia there. Because I think they can still attack... This is unlike XCOM. I think they can still attack the unactivated people, so... I'm going to blow his leg off. Hey, Celestial Von Nudelson, how's it going? No ankle breaking, Toast will be very sad. His ankle is the only thing I can see. And apparently that was enough to kill him, so that works. Um, okay... So where do we think this... Do we think this guy's... Do they think... The, bleh, do we think this guy can use ladders? I'm going to say probably. Area covered. So let's find out. Those barrels look a bit explodey. I'm not sure I want to aim past those, actually. <laughs> but yeah, the heavies are kind of like... They're so slow. I mean, I know the jet jump thing, but... It costs so much to fire the gun, it's like, the, the assaults just feel way better. That's probably taking a bit of a chance, but there we go. And you can do nothing. I completely forgot about the guy at the bottom there, never mind. Oh no, he's going straight that way. Fine, we, well. Well, we goofed there, didn't we? We goofed quite a bit. Right, can I jump down here and activate this guy now? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. There we go. Whee! Okay, right. He's on the Phoenix Control, which is good, which means we can do this now. I'll keep my eyes open. Handle being on ladders and standing on things. <laughs> uh, yeah, we are, like, directly above the guy. I don't think we can... Oops, I don't think we can shoot it. Apparently shooting through the grates is a no-no. I know he's there, but I can't shoot through it. So, that's... them's the brakes. Uh... Well, actually, Sophia can... Ah! Okay, so this... so that works in a slightly odd way vertically, does it? Okay. Interesting. Let's see if that works. Nothing's getting past me. Uh, Jacob, can you get there? What'd that look like? Weird. It looks weird. Nothing's getting past me. Uh, Omar, you can't do anything because you're big and slow. My one weakness, ladders, yeah. Um, and where can my sniper go? Not anywhere that they can shoot anything. Which is kind of sad. 
No idea if that's actually good. If you could actually overwatch from multiple levels, I have no idea. It didn't matter. Welcome home. Right. Okay. So this is where this deviates from the vanilla game. So this usually just says "Welcome home," and then it says "Team on your toes." Possible hostiles. Okay, Alistair Ashby. He is a mist expert. Okay. I mean, it's quite impressive you guys managed to dodge all the freaky shit that I had to deal with on the way in, but I'm okay with that. A limited... Oh no, oh no, it's running on an AI. No, our base is run by AI. Zero out of ten. Worst game ever. Okay. Okay. Okay, so these guys don't get any experience, presumably because they either didn't shoot anything or I only picked them up once. Who knows? The reclamation of Phoenix Point was just the first step on our path ahead. A desperate fight against an overwhelming foe, and only a handful of friends to help. But if this base could withstand the attack, then so could we, and so could Symes. If our leader was somewhere out there, we had to re-establish contact, no matter the cost. I mean, it didn't really withstand the attack, did it? It, it got completely overrun, which is very different to withstanding something, as uh, I understand it. <laughs> but there we go. Uh, a faction's special mission in order to progress your relations with them to the next level. Okay. Operation Suck-Up is a go. Details, hamster details, apparently. The Phoenix Project was founded on October 24th, 1945. The second war to end all wars was over, but there were those who understood that we could no longer afford to think in terms of nations and empires. For a time, the Phoenix Project successfully navigated the political conflicts of its era. That was our golden age. Phoenix Project operatives scoured the world for clues. We had bases in two dozen countries. Even the heavens were not off limits. But out there, on the far side of the moon began our downfall. The failure of the Phoenix 2 mission exposed us to our enemies in the UN. Stripped of resources and scattered to the winds, we were reduced to a secret, a memory. When the Pandora virus woke up, we should have been the first line of defense. When huge clouds of mist appeared over the sea, when people started vanishing, <clears throat> we should have figured out what was going on. And when those people started coming back, changed, hostile, alien, we should have been ready to fight. <coughs> Excuse me. Failed. The ecosystem started to change, imperceptibly at first, then faster and faster. Three factions arose. New Jericho, trying to restore order and purity. Sinedrin, hoping to build a world without hierarchies. And the disciples of Anu, a new, syncretic religion dedicated to adaptation and biological change. At war with the world and at odds with each other, these factions cannot find a way forward. Now the mist is returning and armies are rising from the sea. Without the Phoenix Project, humanity will fall. It's time to rise from the ashes. Sure, it'll be fine. I must admit that all three of those organizations sounded a little bit sketchy. It was like, purity and order. Hmm, what does that sound like? Hmm. Scratch his chin. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Geoscape shows the world in all its locations and its points of interest. In the beginning, all you know is about your base, Phoenix Point. Okay. Cthulhu is waking up. Cthulhu is always waking up. He always wakes up grumpy. Okay, um... All facilities, all vital resources, food, materials, and tech. 
prepare your vehicle bay before you can launch your manticore craft. It'll take some time. Okay. Alright, so we already have some gubbins, so that's good. We have a store, an access lift, energy generator, fabrication plant. Okay, cool. Alright, repair the facility. This is the place we just shot up, so I'm not surprised that it probably needs a bit of TLC. Ah, okay, so we've got our resources in the top left there. Okay. Um, I just noticed my, uh, my, my banner there is obscuring some important info, but never mind. Uh, not an easy place to put that, actually. Never mind. Personnel, vehicles, aircraft, and stores. Okay. Kill, kill. Advance time. Okay. Uh, equip your soldiers and level them up. Okay. Okay, so... These guys are... What are they considered? Sanit... <laughs> Wait a second. He's got... He's got sanitation expert. Immune to goo. Robots can't do everything. Grime, dirt, slime, ooze, yuck, sludge. You've been through it all and come out on the other side. I mean, that's unexpected. Okay, sure. Equip your soldier with new weapons, armor, and other items when dragging available equipment from stores into the appropriate slots in the inventory section. Instantly equip and reduce items in ready slots by using the plus ammo and plus item buttons. Uh, armor section is on armor. Mount section is used for special equipment that can only be attached to the corresponding piece of armor. Okay. Soldiers can increase strength, willpower, and speed, as well as acquire new abilities. Phoenix. Oh, okay. This is like the um, training thing in XCOM. I remember this. Uh, oh, it specialized in an additional class at level 4. Okay. Second row of abilities represent personal aptitudes the soldier is born with. Okay. So, Jacob has, weirdly, sanitation expert, which means he's immune to goo, which is somewhat unexpected. Um, so what is he considered as? He is a what? Does he have a class? Uh Oh, assault. Okay, so he's assault. Right, got it. Proficiency with assault rifles and shotguns. Right, he's got 30 points. So what's this one? Quick aim. Action point cost of the next shot with the proficient weapon is reduced by minus... Uh, reduced by one with... Minus 30% accuracy. Okay, so there are percentages in this. They're just hidden. Okay, good, good to know. Two uses per turn. Okay, interesting. So, it's less liable to hit, but you might better fire more than once, despite the fact that sort of... Okay, they take two AP to shoot, so that actually might be quite useful. Okay. Die hard. When you take lethal damage, there is a chance to survive with one hit point and have all negative effects cleared. Can only trigger once per mission. That sounds like I'll be inviting the bad guys to do terrible things to them, which doesn't sound great. Or we can increase their regular stats. Okay. So his speed is plus one for some reason. So that costs ten. So we could, like, up his speed and give it in quick aim, I guess? <coughs> what does strength actually do? Maximum hit points and weight that can be carried. Okay. Maximum will points so they don't panic. And speed is obviously how fast they can move. Hmm. So we could afford... Actually, his willpower is relatively low. We could do willpower. And quick him. Oh, except it didn't, it didn't take the willpower increase for some reason. Okay, 
Note to self, it doesn't take the... They have to do that separately. Okay, that's a little bit weird. Okay. What have we got here? Odin helmet. Because what's he wearing? Oh. It's just a slightly different type of Odin helmet. Is it any different? It's exactly the same. Okay. Right, so that works. Right, similar. Nurse. Willpower plus two, healing plus 30. Okay, so she's a weird hybrid of medic and assault person. I suppose that's not terrible. Right, so she has the same picks. She's already got plus... Was it plus two willpower off that? I didn't give her quick aim as well. I can't think of what else to to do with it, to be honest. Um, speed maybe. Okay, so then she's super fast, which is a good thing in a medic. Right, I don't think anyone else. Wow, we got what? What are all these? Hell two cannon. Oh, hello. Phoenix Heavy Cannon. Oh, these are different. Golem B Helmet. 27 minus 10 minus 4. 27 minus 10 minus 4. Okay, they're exactly the same. Oh, no, they're not. Perception minus 5. Why would I want that in... That's worse. That is categorically worse. Or was this... Was this, like, the the armor we nicked off people? I have got no idea. Speed minus one. Oh, they're all perception minus five. Okay. Why... Uh, yeah, why would I... Why would I want to wear that one when it's actually worse? That's weird. Okay. So what are these other heavy weapons we've got here? 220, 280, 17. Whereas the one we're using is... 60, 100, tw wait, wow, hang on a minute, that's like, that's way more damage. That's, that's, I mean, the effective range is pretty garbage, but my god, that's, um, that's what, that's like three times, the nearly three times the damage. <laughs> Jesus, um, oh, okay, it's got a much smaller magazine, okay. I mean, I wouldn't mind trying that. That could be funny. Um, okay, but that's probably the wrong ammo now. Yep, that's the wrong ammo. Hell 2 cannon magazine. Yeah, okay. So he's got a full one and a spare. Okay, cool. Right, can't level him up. Heavy train. Why? Oh, wait. It looks like a candy cane. I really just noticed this. That's quite funny. Uh, heavy training. History of violence. Damage plus 10%. Willpower minus 2. Okay. Now he's only got 10 skill points. So it might be worth waiting until he's generated a bit more. I don't know why I've got multiple things of armor though. That's a bit weird. Because I think all of this is roughly the same anyway. I mean, maybe just in case we lose it? I don't know. No idea. Maybe this is like DLC stuff or something. Right. Uh, Mr. Sato. What are you? You are... Uh, where the hell... Oh, you're the guy we rescued. Okay. So he's another assault and he's got privileged. Speed plus two, perception plus four, carry weight minus 25. You were riding out the apocalypse in first class and letting others carry the load for you. Wow. Okay. Uh, so he's a bit of a douche. Okay, cool. Um, I think... Oh, here we go. Irina, she's got the pistol. Oh, okay, we've got different um, sniper rifles here. Phoenix Bird SR. Damage 110. Effective range 51. Damage 110, 51. Oh, okay, it's basically the same. They do look like exactly the same. Do they look different? They just look pretty. Okay. 
Uh, does it take the same ammo? Oh, it's already equipped it. Oh, that's handy. Oh, they are all the same. They're just cosmetically different. Okay, I see. Comprenez vous. Okay, so that's all the leveling up we can do, because, uh. Yeah, god, this guy needs a speed boost, seriously. Jesus Christ. So, what is the difference here? I think it's just color. I think we can just mix and match. We could just do like cosmetics, I think. Oh no, except that has minus five perception on that. That's that's bad. Why would you know? That's very bad. Don't do that. Stealth minus ten, accuracy minus four. I mean this explains a few things. Okay, he's got the candy cane launcher. I mean why not? We'll stick we'll go with that. Okay. Send your manticore to the unexplored site. Which is here, I'm guessing. Alright, all sites of the Geoscape are unexplored. One soldier on board an aircraft to explore. Exploration takes time, you may get ambushed to be in your guard. Okay. Okay, scavenging site. Take as many items for the crates you can safely manage and evacuate your squad. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is like, uh... Yeah, we, uh, we, we are vaguely familiar with this thing. Right, hang on, I actually want to go and finalize the loadouts, actually. Can I, can I not do that now? Am I, have I goofed? I think I might have goofed. Uh, is there an edit? Oh, edit unit! Duh! Right, okay, so he's got full assault rifle, assault rifle, and med kit. Right, grenade wouldn't go amiss. Hey, Mega Forge, how's it going? I'm assuming he can't throw the grenade unless it's actually in in the ready slot. I'm guessing that would make sense. I guess. Name him Bob. Oh yeah, that's true. We've probably got like customization, haven't we? We can just turn the helmets off too. Bob Eber. Can we call him Bob? Oh, I can't see where my cursor is. Bob. Bob Eber. That's really annoying. I can't see where my cursor is. Could be better. How about you? Yeah, I'm not too bad. Uh, hopefully things improve for you. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm not too shabby. We'll get into the customization at some point as well, because that looks funny. All right, do we think one backup magazine is going to be enough? Because these guys do do a lot of shooting. So it's full magazine reload. I'm gonna I'm gonna get them a spare reload. Because you can't have too much DACA. All right, that's up. Pistol reload. Though, bearing in mind, we're supposed to be grabbing stuff. Full send to bring all the bullets, yeah. Uh, Sophia, you can have... Oh, Ares 1. Ares AR1. These are just cosmetics, I think. Okay. Spare magazine there. That works for me. Oh my, you can have a spare magazine and a grenade. But did I give Sophia a grenade? No, I didn't. Right. Uh, Takeshi doesn't have a med kit, so that's a good idea. Uh, spare mag and a nade. Why not? So what are mounts? I don't think I've got... Oh, here we go. We have none. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Let's try this then. Uh, you can only recover items carried by evacuating soldiers or vehicles. Okay. So this is like risk-reward balance here.
I'm pretty sure I used the guy with the jetpack to steal all the stuff. These crates contain valuable material, so grab everything you can. This place will be crawling with mutants any minute now. Okay. Just like my hometown on a Saturday night. Damage prediction system. 100% of your shots will land within the outer circle. 50% of shots will land within the inner circle. The closer the enemy, the more accurate the weapon, the more shots will land in the desired targeting area. Okay. I was reading that quick, and I thought that means that that, that equals 150%, which is not... That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> uh, I can see a jellyfish. What is the jellyfish? Oh, okay. I don't know what that does. I'm going to go out on, a, out on a limb here and say it's probably nothing good. Okay. Right. You are fast. We know you are fast. So what if we did... Uh, oh, okay. Will points. D -d 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 -d. Open crates, kill enemies. When the will point drops below zero, they panic. Okay. Oh, shit! That was a misclick. That was a misclick of epic proportions. Oh, my God. Good start. Good start. That was not what I intended to do at all. Tritons. A new enemy, the Triton. Be on your guard. These cunning monsters will skulk around the battlefield, seizing any opportunity to flank you. Great. I must have, I was more worried about the giant jellyfish thing. I don't want to find out what that does. It says it's preparing. I am worried. Uh, right. Because what I wanted to do is jump over here towards the crates, but uh, apparently I can't do that. Here I am. Let's do this. There. Uh, is that a third enemy? Oh yeah, there's one there too. Okay. Uh, right. They don't have guns, but I'm still going into cover because it's just a good habit to get into. Uh, no. Where was the Where was the jellyfish? I'm worried about the jellyfish. Kill jellyfish. That's taking a while. Right, Sophia. Probably would have set up some Overwatch, I think, because that guy's relatively close, actually. Which I don't like how close he actually is. So, something like that. She can't do much. Right, Takeshi. Can you also shoot the jellyfish? Lining up a shot. No, 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 no. Jellyfish. It's nearly dead. It's nearly dead. Nearly. Right, where was that other thing? Okay, he was behind the building. Okay, so we go forward. We might... Should be okay? Question mark? I'll be right, there. right. Omar, due to a amazing misclick, is now completely out of position. I'll be right there. That's what I was worried about. It commenced some bullshit. Right, a mist sentinel has just started spreading viral mist around itself. Lose will point, willpower points and the enemies alerted their position. And Dorans who enter the mist will recover willpower points. Oh, okay, that was good instincts. Oh, that's a mind fragger. I don't want to mess with that. Oh, there's actually quite a few people. There's there's quite a few bodies around here. Okay. Okay, winged him. I forgot how fast those things move. Jesus Christ. Right. Okay. This is this is a lot to take in. Dear God. Um. Okay. Let's have a think about this. Ooh, it's a lot of stuff. Right, where's my sniper? My sniper is there. I think getting rid of the jellyfish is a good option. I I am not keen on the jellyfish. Alright. Cool, that's him dealt with. Right. 
This guy's made a mistake. He's right next to my heavy. With his weird candy cane cannon. So this should work. Oh, fuck me. It really is a candy cane cannon. <laughs> Splat. Okay, and then we've got this little scuttly bastard over here. We play vanilla Iron Man for achievements. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Iron Man, to be honest. I've I've had too many times when you have like, especially with modded, you 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 can have things crash, and I always think that's that's just a poor choice for. Uh, Iron Man's a poor choice when you're doing things like that. Right. We're keeping an eye on that guy. Annoyingly, we have got nowhere... Cl we have got no closer to the crates. <laughs> so maybe I should start sending someone towards the crates. That might be a good idea. Uh, right, so there's a mine fragger. Okay, we've got to watch out for the mine fragger. That's not good. How far away is that? Quite a distance, but I don't think we're going to be able to hit that with that. So let's worry about this dickhead over here. Nothing's getting and see anything. what happens. Okay, I think we're good. I say we're good. We'll see what happens. Endless reinforcements. Okay, yeah, good to know. That's only a wing. Oh, that was solid. His head has been disabled. I can only assume that's probably not going to make him feel very good about himself. Okay. Uh, so we got another Arthron there. I really do need to start gathering these crates up. Oh, can we totally not see him? We really can't. Hey, Gothic, how's it going? I never quite understood why people care for achievements. <laughs> no, I'm kind of like, I'm one of those people, like, I'll be just playing a game, and if the achievement pops up, the achievement pops up. I, I'm not I usually see. kind of, like, focused on, on uh, getting the achievements. I largely think if it's a happy accident. Blood-sucking arm. I mean, okay, that seems something I should shoot. That, that's not a good idea. Will this work? I mean, he's a little bit pissed off. Right, theoretically he should bleed to death, but uh, he might not. Nothing's getting past me. Right. Uh, okay. Could we tank a hit from that thing? We probably could tank a hit from it. Bearing in mind that mine frag is over there as well, actually. But I just think if we're not using the jump jets to, to move this guy, we're kind of wasting time. Um, okay, I'm going to do a really bold play here. Which I'm fully aware does put him right where in the way of danger, but this is fine. Oh, no action point cost. Oh, I've just noticed this guy's the most over-encumbered motherfucker in the world. <laughs> that's a that's a pressing reason to not use that guy to get the stuff. Uh, because he's got no encumbrance left now. Oh well. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Right, okay. Uh, so now, of course, that's going to run out of that doorway. That should bleed to death. I kind of hope it bleeds to death. Let's overwatch this. Hope that works. Make sure it's not hitting the guy. Just in case this guy doesn't bleed to death, I think we got to cover him off. Right. What's the worst could happen? All right, the mine, the mine fragger is bimbling. I'm okay with that.
Okay, disable his arm. That's nice. Gonna take a swing. All right. Oh, two swings. Oh, okay. Two swings. That was a poor choice. Okay, another lesson learned. And he is toast. Okay, once you've got all the loot, you can manage evacuate your soldiers from the battlefield via evacuation zone. Okay. So. He can't carry any more stuff. So, what the smart thing would probably be to do... Oh, wait, there's a minefragger right there. That's very bad. Yeah, this is why I was slightly worried when it said, Oh, you can stand out in the open and be tanky. I didn't realize that would hit me twice. So, having got our loot, and as that's literally the only thing he can carry, I'm just going to, like, jump all the way back here again. Because that sounds like a great idea. Okay. Boing, yeah. Hey, Matt Scene, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Some people like collecting stuff, others like having a to-do list, yeah. I think... I don't think I've ever, like, deliberately 100%ed something before. I, I think, like, I've done it kind of by a happy accident. If it's a game I really like and really like replaying, sometimes I'll do it as a happy accident, but I've never gone out of my way to do it. Yeah, he's toast. Okay, right, so we've got no bad guys over here as far as we know, so I'm going to use what's left of his movement to leg it over here. Here I am. Let's do this. In the hope that we can grab that other crate. Now, I know there's a minefragger out there, but I think Sophia can cover it off, so let's do that. Area covered. Providing, of course, that it can't, like, run about 800 miles an hour, because that would really suck, but we'll find out shortly. I wonder about being a big coward and just going for two crates and then running. I don't know whether that's 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 a good meta, but uh, I'm 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 liking the idea. Get so sidetracked to get all the side quests done. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm 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 doing a little bit in Ghost of Tsushima at the moment. Is is doing all the side quests first. Right, is that? That's not going to do anything, is it? Let's make sure I'm not actually shooting one of my own people. Uh, right, Omar, you can uh, just sit there, frankly. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, I thought that was right on us. Oh, there's another dude right there, I failed to notice. Okay. Nice, that was a nice shot. Oh, there's another crate right here. Utterly failed to notice the crate right there. Okay, so... The smart play would go for three crates and then leg it. I think that's a good idea. Which I'm going to wait until the ad finishes. I'm going to have a bit of a stretch, actually. Oh, necessary evils. Oh. Okay. Ugh. Right, where's my, where's my snapper? I had my sniper selected already. No. That one. No? Oh, is that all you can see? That's, uh... That's unlikely. <laughs> I was literally thinking, hmm, wonder if I can take that shot. No, not really. It's behind a concrete thing. Um... And I de-shroud the guns a little bit there. Like, by going there, that might be a better option. Jetpack goes as far, even if the guy is over encumbered. Oh, does it really? Oh, now that's interesting. But I think he can only... Uh, oh, no, that is interesting, actually. Huh. I didn't know that. That's that's a that's an interesting bit of information, actually. Right. Noggin shot. Nice. Right, he's bleeding. I imagine he should fall over before he gets here. Let's hope so. Right, we got this other guy. I've just realized something rather unfortunate. I haven't got any of my grenades equipped because they're in my backpack and not in my hands, as it were. That's an oopsie. Uh, this is fine. 
Okay, can I can I get here and shoot him? Oh, that could be a bit tricky. I mean, it'll probably kill him, and I can open the crate at the same time, and I don't think there's anything else over here. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's a lot of shit. Uh, Fiara SR magazine. I don't think I have any of those. I think I might just take the crates. Right, and this doesn't cost an action point. If I did that, does that cost an action point? Oh, Oh, that does cost one action point. Hang on a minute. Undo. Okay, good to know. Oh, okay, so moving the crates does cost an action point. Right, okay. So that's 23. So that's maxed out. That's pretty good, actually. Oh, wait, hang on. Does that mean I can't shoot? Hang on a minute. I've just realized how many action points got left. That means I can't shoot. So what I need to do is shoot, because then I otherwise would be standing there like an idiot. Let players have fun on their own terms. No, that's that's okay. I, I don't mind, like, little things like that is fine. Um, I, I don't mind, like, little tips. That's that's okay. It's when people basically tell me what tell me what to do in every single step. That starts driving me up the wall. Get, getting play tips and stuff are perfectly fine. Okay, I wasted that guy, so that's good. Tactical tip, panic. Oh! I panicked a bad guy! The bad guys can become panicked? Okay, that's neat. Okay, I like that. Okay, so that may have indirectly killed this guy. Because he's going to run away and hide for a turn, and then I think he's going to bleed to death. So that's actually really useful. Oh, not about backseating. Oh, sorry, fair enough. <laughs> Yeah, that's okay. I'm a scatterbrain. It's all good. Um, but yeah, sometimes sometimes we do do occasionally have people that 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 uh, um turn up in my streams and they're just kind of like, "Do this! You must do this! This is the most efficient thing!" And I'm like, I, "No, I I play. I have fun." Right. So query. So this is not the encumbrance thing is not a um hard cap is what we're saying that's actually a soft cap but i presume you get penalties for going over that i'm guessing because if i can use the jetpack i am totally gonna jump over there nick the stuff out the jet the the, the the thing and then leg it with twice as much stuff it's a soft cap okay right i'm on board with that idea Gives you small penalty mobility, which I assume is not affected because he's using the jump. Okay, that's interesting. I'm taking a bit of a risk here because I'm assuming this guy's going to die. Okay, he's bleeding 10 and he's only got 10 hit points. I think he's dead. I think that's a safe bet. Yes. Also, I've just noticed that this crate is bugged. It only had one square that I could actually um, occupy, so that's quite funny. So we got material pack, tech pack. Okay, so now I'm encumbered. Alright, that's fine. Uh, He's got zero AP, which is fine. I don't think we've got any active enemies here right now, so I might start pulling back. Uh, And then we're going to leave with our ill-gotten gains, I think. I might... Overwatch this just in case he comes forwards, but I doubt he will. Right, you haven't actually taken anything out of the pack yet because you were out of action points, weren't you? Yeah, okay. Which leaves. Okay, if we move Takeshi up here to just support him, um, hopefully no bad things will happen. Two tiles instead of three using his legs, which is uh, still got the 20 flight. That is that's very handy to know, honestly. It's, I do find the 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 heavy so far. Okay, we're we're early doors. I do find the heavy class a bit weird. I'm gonna be honest. It's like the assault class just seem to be able to do so much more than the heavy does. I mean, I guess I'm not using the jetpack aggressively enough, maybe, but it just feels that they're just not as good. I may well be missing something. And he fell over. 
which means we have a free turn because I don't think there's anything else on the board. This is good. This is going well. Right. Do I need ammunition for stuff I don't have? I mean, I don't think it's worth it because I'm literally at encumbrance, which feels that's useful. So let's back that up. Watch out. I'm moving in. Okay. Uh, I think we're pretty solid. Yeah, I mean, just compared to the the uh, assault class, which can just move and shoot so much more efficiently. I know these do more damage, but uh, yeah, they do. The heavies do feel a bit clunky. Okay, suffer a movement penalty. Yeah, we knew that was going to happen. Yeah, look, look at that. Yeah, I think I've literally. I can't even notice the difference between him being over encumbered. And being normally encumbered, I actually can't tell. <laughs> That's quite funny. Wait, is that... Why has he picked up a cipher magazine? I think supply is more important than a cipher magazine. That makes more sense, actually. And then we could just bounce over here. And in fact, I think we can leave this turn, actually. We can almost leave this turn. Let's make sure we don't get, like, swamped or something. Use Okay, actually, I need to keep an eye on his will, actually. What, where's, his, where's his will at? Five out of seven. Okay, that's good. I mean, what's that? That's three crates we opened. Um, I think we're going to call that quits. I think that's uh, that's solid. We're just going to bunker up next to the extract point and uh, hopefully don't get, like, bum-rushed by anything. I'm on the move. Right, I think that's it. I mean, okay, the map is empty. I probably probably should get some more stuff, but you know. Land next to an enemy and bash them with your polka gun. That's true. That's also something I hadn't considered. Yeah, so he'd have one AP left and he could whack someone in the head with that. That is that is a good point. That's two very valid points. Thank you very much for that, Gothic. I, I that also did not occur to me. Yeah, of course, because the bash the bash costs one. That's pretty funny. Okay, yeah, no, that's that's entirely viable. Yeah, little little tips and little bits of info like that, absolutely golden. Okay, I may have been a little bit of a cowardly custard on this, but I think, what was that, three crates with multiple packs in? I think we did pretty well there. On my way. Right, so what do we get? <laughs> uh, yeah, Omar got bashed in the face, unfortunately, but that's okay. Oh, 7 out of 10. We did pretty well okay. That's pretty okay there. That's not bad. I, I imagine in the later game, those missions can become hectic. I remember the equivalent in XCOM 2, and it was basically like, can we keep going or do we just run? <laughs> right, we got 100 food, uh, 400 orange bits, uh, and 200 tech. Okay. Uh, all gathered items and resources added to your overall supplies can be added instantly anywhere in the geoscape regardless of location. One stamina point per turn. They lose all stamina if one of their body parts is disabled during the mission. Okay. Okay, so we need to rest up. Okay. Slowly recover stamina in the aircraft. It has the farm passenger module. Okay. Return to your base so your shoulders can recover. Yeah, he says, yeah, exactly. It's like, do I take the stuff or do I run away? I haven't actually looked at the... You, whoa! We, yep, we make the world spin. Whee! I'm easily entertained. Right. Let's go back to the base. I'm quite enjoying this so far, actually. Uh, research. Ooh, okay. 
Research products critical for improving your capabilities of winning the game. Uh, yeah, okay, so, so far, so XCOM. Research atmospheric analysis. Okay, well, that's all we've got, so we'll go for that. Global mist monitoring system available. Okay. Uh, and then, wait, hang on, we have some level ups here. Uh... Yeah, it's like our, our assault people are getting all the uh, XP because they're usually the ones at the front, which is kind of funny. <laughs> it's like, all the XP is mine! Now, so what I've learned there, for that type of miss mission, having like that many magazines is probably a bad idea because it limits how much stuff you can pick up. So that kind of makes sense. Um, okay, never used his quick aim once, because I forgot he even had it. <laughs> Which, actually, that would have been very useful when he was standing next to the crate. Now, here's... Okay, so here's another lesson learned. I could have used quick aim when he was next to the crate, which would have reduced his shot to one action point. So with two action points, he could have fired, and then he could have taken the stuff from the crate, which I failed to notice. That's going to happen a lot. <laughs> okay, what we got? Die Hard. Wasn't too keen on Die Hard. Quarterback. 25% bonus grenade range and plus two speed. Okay, that sounds fun. Kill and run. Once per turn, take a free move after killing an enemy. Now that sounds good. I like the sound of that. So that's 15. Oh, I could, well, I could almost have both. Actually, I could have both. No, I couldn't. Maths. 35. I could have both. Hmm. Very, very fast grenade throwing guy. That when he kills someone, he goes even faster. That sounds amusing to me. What I need to do, I have a terrible habit of rushing. I need to slow down and analyze my options when I'm in combat a bit more, because I could have I could have taken advantage of that quick aim next to that crate but good to know okay so we're gonna put his grenade in his ready slot and in fact maybe give him a backup grenade um because he's the grenade guy now so there we go okay so is sophia got exactly the same thing she has okay i know she's one skill point uh, lower. But kill and run sounds like such a good idea. I might take the grenade back off her, actually, because she's she's good at... at what is she? She's good at healing? Yeah, so she's good at healing as well. Okay. Don't think anyone else... Nope. Our heavy, despite the fact he literally did the heavy lifting. Um, oh yeah, he started out at 20 encumbrance. Ha 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 ha! That gun did so much damage, though. So you're going to need the backup shots, I think. I don't think he's going to use grenades much. That also frees up a point, so that makes sense. No slowing down full steam ahead, yeah. <laughs> I break for rainbows! Yeah. Um, okay. Okay, so it has gone half past eight. Uh, I'm going to whack in a save there quick. Me. There we go. So I'm gonna have a quick break, about ten minutes or so. Uh, grab yourselves a drink, have a stretch. That's what I'm gonna do. Possibly use the conveniences, and uh, we shall reconvene in about ten minutes or so with some more. So see you in a little bit. With the headphones. Okay, let's go back this way. Oh, what the hell's that? Oh, it's got tracking! Oh, it's got tracking, that's rude. Oh, and it's got a shield? No, wait, I can do no damage to it. What? What? What is this? I'm perplexed. Oh, I... I have to hit the ball? 
I'm playing tennis. I have to play tennis with it. Oh, that's funny as fuck. I I have to play tennis. That's great. No, the regular attack was doing it. Oh, boys, you you picked the wrong time there. Funnily enough, grenades don't care about grazing hits, so uh, that works. Uh, wow, in fact, you could do that a second time. Can he really do that a second time? How many of those has he got left? Three. Fuck it. Totally worth it. <laughs> now that, ladies and gentlemen, is a war crime. <laughs> I don't know, that's just, that's just hit me funny. I don't know why. Why throw one gas grenade when you can throw two? Oh. Uh, okay, this is a... Oh, he's... Okay, he's got a shield. But that's fine. I've I've got I've got tentacles. Hello, sir. Can I introduce you to our Lord and Savior? Oops. He's not dead. Fair play. He's very not dead, actually. Oh God. Oh, I have to fight him in this room. Okay, luckily he's not. Oh, hang on. I had to hack my out the door. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Now he's dead. Oh! Oh my god! I hit him so hard, his... his... Oh dear. Be careful with your tentacles, ladies and gentlemen, otherwise this could happen to you too. I marked it just up the road. Alright. Oh, that's a... that's an entire... Convo, not convo, oh, yep, that's place. a that's a that's a posse. Yep. Shall I start minigunning? Uh, you want to start minigunning? I can. Oh, I can't. oh, that was me! Sorry, I deployed my drone and it killed the helicopter. I forget he threw it up. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sorry about that. That's entirely on me. <laughs> Any landing that you walk away from, I guess. In Honestly, the bloody names of some of these systems are amazing. And the fact there's no hope for me to actually pronounce them. What was that noise? Oh, 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 oh. I mean, is that like hello in rock person? What the fuck was that? That was. That sounded like the start of a Disney movie or something. What the hell? Uh, form non-aggression pact. Okay, so the Bin Penchan really like us. I mean, what? Come on. Holy shit, time to go. <laughs> where, where am I extracting to honor? Because I need, I need, oh, oh god, everything's exploding. Tremors detected. Well, yeah, no shit. We just introduced a black hole into the middle of the planet. How do we get out of here? Okay, we're going that way. Oh my god, there's fucking shriekers! Are you fucking kidding me? What? This is level one! We're not supposed to have shriekers! What the actual Christmas fuck? That's not right! Ah! Uh. <laughs> Oh my god. Whose silly idea was this? Fuck me. Uh, yeah, right. Okay. Uh, hmm. He should not survive that. This enemy soldier is pinned down. Hello. Oh, I shot that guy instead. Oh, he broke my overwatch. That's rude. Alright, we are back. 
uh welcome the psychotic and hey sereni how's it going welcome welcome hope you're both doing very well okay uh what are we doing we're researching stuff right uh everyone's resting because they're slightly knackered okay good to know Yeah, I played uh, a lot of Wildlands. <laughs> um, I think Wildlands is probably the better of the two. Um, but only because Breakpoint started out very janky and got better, whereas uh, Wildlands is pretty good. Right. Okay. Reveal the extent of the new mist outbreak. Imagine that! The evil sea people are coming from the sea. Okay. Current mist coverage. Okay. The mist represents the progression of the Pandora virus as it spreads through the globe. Pandora mutations will attempt to build colonies in areas of land covered by the mist, which will then attack nearby havens. To meet this threat, we need to produce equipment. Select the manufacturing button. Okay, so let's have a quick look at that. So we have a giant death fart cloud there. Oh, okay, so that's where... It, the, oh, and another one over there. Okay, good. That was why my instincts to shoot the, the, the mist jellyfish thing was probably... I've lost my base. I've legit lost my base. There it is. <laughs> Giant fucking globe. Couldn't find my base. Brilliant. Right, manufacturing. Here we go. Uh, weapons, vehicles, and armor are manufactured by fabrication plants. Okay. Manufacture a med kit. I mean, we've got like 10 of the damn things, but okay, sure. Med kit. Alright, we've got 5 of the damn things, but okay. I guess we're still in the tutorials. That's fine. Satellite scanning. <laughs> Functioning satellite uplink in a base. Okay. Question mark symbol. Use your craft to explore them. Find out where they are. Right. Okay. So this is as far as I've actually got. I have I have played the tutorial. And not with this mod enabled though. And I did play the first mission. So we're... we're uh, breaks are off from this point forwards. Okay. When you reveal a haven, a number of sites nearby will be located... Okay, magical mystery tour. Congratulations for computing the tutorial. You're probably now screwed. Okay, making hard choices. You have to use your limited resources strategically and carefully pick your battles. Decide which losses you are willing to bear and which cannot be accepted, then act accordingly. <laughs> if you try to do everything, you are likely to fail. Think strategically, however, you will succeed. Good luck. So anyone who's, who's uh, spent any time watching this channel recently, we're probably screwed. But this is this is the first time we've played this, so it'll it'll be fine. The Phoenix Archives. Oh, okay, wow. Phoenix Archives. Oh, can we have multiple things on the go here? Haven recruitment protocols. Hang on, let's put those at the top, because that's gonna take less time. Okay. Mist Sentinel, Mindfragger, Triton, Arthron. Right, is there any downside to just stacking all of these up and just letting them roll? I... I... I'm not seeing a downside. Because if we just did them in, like, date order, would that just be sensible? So then it would just keep rolling? Maybe. Who knows? It'll be fine. No downside. Oh, okay, cool. I'm down for that. Okay, so, what have we got? So, unexplored site. Satellite, satellite scans indicate increased presence of scavengers in the area. Okay. They all say the same thing. Okay, so let's go to the nearest one. And explore. Oh, shit, I didn't click on explore. There you go. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, the Dreamers Awaken, Fort Eleutheria. Is a haven run by New Jericho, which means normally things are quiet, not under control. Right now there is an emergency. A group of soldiers is on a killing spree. 
It began with strange dreams, voices heard in the night. Oh dear. Something has driven them mad. If we stop these soldiers, New Jericho will be undoubtedly be grateful to us. It's a very important word there. It's called if. Sure! Uh, all items on the battlefield will be automatically recovered after mission success. Okay, so we don't have to worry about carrying loot so much. That that works for me. Right. Uh, are we set for this? So this is Grenade Boy. We have to remember him. I may well have to rename him Grenade Boy in order to remind myself. She's good with a med kit. She's got backup ammo. Is it really worth him having a med kit? I mean, he's liable to get punched more often, so maybe he should carry his own one. That sort of makes sense, I suppose. Uh, what does Takeshi do? Takeshi's kind of generic at the moment. Um, hmm. I'm going to leave him as is. I think that'll be okay. Right, arena... Sniper ammo, sniper ammo, pistol ammo. That's full. Don't think she needs much else. And back to Bob. Okay, I think we're good. Maybe. Eek. I must admit, I, I still have a lot of muscle memory from XCOM, so I'm kind of like... the the I'm still kind of stuck in the move. Like, you have you only have two actions... And obviously, figuring out the whole action point economy thing, uh, that needs a little bit of work, because I think there's probably things I can do more efficiently, but we're, we're learning. Grenades are universal throwing weapons. I, I know what a grenade is, yes. Depends on the soldier's strength. Okay. Did I make the guy that's job is to throw grenades? Is he an absolute wimp? Because that would be really funny if he was. Uh, I don't know what his strength is. It's not actually showing up here, but never mind. Okay, right. Kill all enemies. That sounds my type of straightforward. Uh, so does this... This symbol up here, does that mean either no one can see us or no one knows we're here? Or just means no enemies visible at this time? I wasn't entirely sure what that meant earlier on. Right, so these guys have guns. I have to, I have to remember this. These, these guys will shoot back. <laughs> will it tell me what that symbol means? Unrevealed and not spotted. Okay, got it. So effectively, we're we we're, we're not we're not seen until we do something. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, where does this map... Oh, that's the edge of the map. That's probably not the best way to go. Ugh. Poops. Okay, I'm gonna hide behind this tree. Um... We're gonna roll left, just in case there's somebody in there. Right, Omar, you're incredibly slow. Well, actually, wait a second. There's no point, because that uses willpower, and he does not actually have a huge amount of willpower, so... And for those of you currently getting an ad, you're not missing much, because, uh... Mind you, you can't hear me if you're getting an ad, but there we go. Uh, I am bimbling. That is entirely what I am doing. So he just come around the corner and murder us. I was... I was half right. Okay, so... Uh, we got a go madman. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so he spotted somebody. Who did he spot? Okay, so that's weird. So concealment basically works until it doesn't, because all he did was literally come around a corner and he spotted us. 
But he hasn't seen the rest of us. Oh, he has seen those guys. Has he seen everybody? I think he's seen everyone. Hey, Baboozle, how's it going? How is the Phoenix pointing? Uh, so far, so good. Um, I'm kind of... Uh, I've got a lot of muscle memory from XCOM, which I've probably said about 50 times. So the, the action point fiddling is uh, still getting used to that. But yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. This is our first official mission. Am I able to shoot through this tree? Are we actually saying that we can shoot through this tree? I think that's unlikely. Uh, now we know that somebody's coming around the corner there. But I hope you're doing well. Also, I just realized this tree is not providing me any cover at all. Just noticed that. Um... Okay, it says I can shoot him from there. Let's let's see what happens. Okay, that looks better. Right, do I go for a cheeky headshot? I'm gonna go for a cheeky headshot, see what happens. Oh my god, I got it. His head has been disabled. Well, he's not gonna be too happy about that, I feel. Um does that count as cover? No. Okay. Right, we're going to get rolled from the left, but that guy... It, ooh, no, no, I wish to do that. We can cover cover that off with some Overwatch, because if he does come around the corner like a lunatic, we're going to shoot him a lot. I think that's wise. Uh, God, I just noticed we, we, we literally have, like, no cover. <laughs> that's terrible. Um, right, I think we'll put Sophie, uh, Sophia there. Right, now, what does this do? Quick aim. Next shot reduces... Okay, so that's no good for Overwatch. Okay. Let's get that nice and set for that. Nothing's getting past me. Right. Omar might be able to afford to stand out in the open, I don't know, but then he's terrible with Overwatch. Um... Did we get him here? No, that's too far. Oh, so we can't jump over the building. Okay, that's... that's interesting. Hmm. I'm gonna just stand here and hope for the best. That's... that's not gonna work, I don't think, but... We'll soon find out. Uh, and we have Takeshi. Okay. Yeah, okay, if this guy comes around the corner, he's gonna have the worst day. Here comes the Phoenix. Here comes the Phoenix. Oh, you nerd. They're not getting past me. Oh. Okay, Overwatch did not work at all there. That was a bit embarrassing. Okay, got a glance at the sniper. That's not good. Okay, none of my Overwatches worked. That's great. I'm so happy. Where did I go wrong there? Did that... Is it just... Did he, like, just thread the needle? Did he... Can he not see those guys? Okay. That didn't quite go according to plan. So what am I going to do? Uh, I'm going to send my heavy around the corner and shoot this guy in the face, because I think that's just a good idea. Hello, sir. Are you attached to your head? Because I'm going to relieve you of it. Is he dead? Okay! I think I got him. Uh, my nap has interrupted multiple times. So I'm late. Ah, that's fine. That's not a problem. Right. Okay. So Overwatch doesn't quite work the way I think it does. <laughs> now, I remember it saying it said all equipment will be collected. So we don't have to pick that up. Uh, whatever it is, we will actually get that at the end of the, um, the end of the mission. I believe that's what it said. Right, now we really can't see this guy, so I'm actually going to get my sniper into cover, Ready because they're not really supposed to be shot at a lot. Right, can we duck behind here? There's a third guy in the building, we know this. Am I utterly misinterpreting where the Overwatch edge? Right. Is the Overwatch only within the, the the actual like bright red bits? So you see the like the the 
like there, that does nothing, I'm guessing, and it's only in the in the actual like the circle. Is that why I've been getting wrong? So for example, if I overwatch here, it'll do nothing because you can't see any of the the circle showing on the ground. Am I am I getting that right? Yeah, because her vision's gonna be blocked by the pillar. Ah, we have learned something new here. I think that's where I that's where I went wrong over here. I thought I had him covered and I didn't. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do it anyway just to test the theory. Area but I think because that's blocking her line of sight, I think that's where I'm getting wrong. So in order to Overwatch that on the way in, I'd have to be standing out in the open, which sounds like a really bad idea. But then there is no fucking cover here at all, so it it might not be as dark as it sounds. <laughs> Um, hmm. Uh, where's our comedy grenade eating guy? Here he is. Hey, Cornish, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Let me give you a shout out there. He is the Cornish King Nigget. That's not your username. Let's try that again, shall we? There you go. <laughs> ah, Cyberpunk 70, 2077. Excellent. Was your cyber sufficiently punked? Oh, that was a misclick. Fuck. Whoops. Uh, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome in. Welcome in. Overwatching from there should work. Oh, okay. My crow found out my my room was? You have a crow? That's That's not... Usual, is it? <laughs> People don't usually have crows. Okay, there we have an unknown contact here, but I'm guessing... Can they get out that window? I don't know if they can get out windows. I'm going to leave my heavy as the backstop here. I think that's a good idea. Right, still don't have any cover, so let's just do that. Uh, you've been arguing with Phoenix Point off stream? <laughs> Why, why, why arguing? What, what is, what is the arguing argument you've been having? Okay, I think that proved my point. I think he actually has to be in the actual red circle. Okay, right. I think we've learned something there. So because. These concrete pillars are blocking... He's peeking around the corner like a smart person. And it's blocking line of sight for my guys. I get that. Oh, food mostly. Need recruits to go on missions with more recruits as more food eaten. Ah, uh, okay. Are you playing... Are you playing vanilla? Uh, after a heavy rainfall, she likely fell out of the nest and our dogs found her. Oh, Cool. Ah, uh, this is uh, this is Terror from the Void, which is uh, the the big mod for it. I don't know if that helps in any way, shape, or form, but uh, I, I I am I am doing a modded playthrough for the first ever time of playing it, which is probably a crazy idea. But okay, so we've got this guy and his grenades. I'm honestly tempted to just yeet a grenade at this guy just to get rid of him um because this is awful this situation we're in i just wanted a warhammer, warhammer imperial guardsman mod <laughs> all right so how far can i throw one of these how far do grenade go oh grenade go pretty far holy shit uh grenade go pretty far and not do much damage probably because that's gonna wow that does not do very much damage 50 and 10 shred. Is that because he's far... Oh, that's too far away. Okay. Hmm. What we are going to do is possibly go here and overwatch that. I'm repositioning. Because this guy's going to come up behind us. Now again, I don't think I'm going to be able to hit anything because the circle, I'm looking through a statue. So there's a tiny sliver... Right, let's see if I test this. Right, so there's a tiny sliver of red 
So if he crosses that, do I shoot him? We'll find out. Um. So he's got a break cover to shoot. He was shooting at this guy, which means no one else is going to get line of sight on him. So we've only got line of sight when he shoots. Okay. Hmm. I mean, if I just dangle someone out in the open and overwatch, it should get him. I mean, he is slowly bleeding to death. Also, I noticed that he fired, even though this tree does not con is not considered as cover, he was firing at Takeshi and the shots hit the tree, which was interesting. Now, whether it was because it was too far away, I, I'm not sure, but it didn't seem to do anything. So let's let's test this out again. Yeah, because she's looking through this wall. It doesn't, it, it's not doing, it's not showing up properly. Right, this is probably a bad idea. You're going to get hurt in the name of science, uh, young lady. Ah, right, see. Now the, the, the red thing's on the floor. So theoretically, he sticks his head out to shoot and she should ace him with any luck. Um, let's, let's hope so anyway. So, right. Big pillars, line of sight obstructing, big big oopsie. All right. Got it. I am I am learning. No, do not throw your grenade. Uh right now, thanks. Right. Ah, yeah, look. So he stood there, so he's got a much better line of sight on that. Area covered. That works. Uh Takeshi may as well just run back into cover so he doesn't get shot. Yeah, now that Overwatch will do nothing. So that is that is probably not worth it. Okay, interesting. Right. Oh, Irina's. No, that's the same problem. I think she's to stay there. She's not as well armored as everyone else. Uh, yeah, no, stay there. Okay, let's, let's test the theory. Yep. Now, unfortunately, that didn't kill him. Oh, and he can fire twice because he didn't move. Okay, okay. Miss. Poor show. Glancing hit at best. Okay, wait, why has he got his hands up in the air? That was weird. Okay. We're learning. We are learning things. Uh... Alright, where's my heavy? Alright, you can have a line of sight on him there. Oh wait, is he a heavy as well? No, I don't think he is. Alright, let's see if he can actually hit something. Right, aiming for the noggin. Oh, well, yep. <laughs> oh, sorry that 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 uh that got me. Candy cane cannon does it again. Okay, right. Oh wow, so Sophia got shot in the head. Good God. Oh, we can get up here. Ah, uh, probably should have done that. Oh, we weren't close enough. Okay, so it turns out sometimes the cautious approach isn't always the best, because if he stays put, he has enough action points to shoot twice, which is kind of a big deal. Hands in the air because he doesn't care. Yeah, I saw the symbol. I don't know what the symbol was all about. Might have been panic. There you go, that got him. Was that it? That was it. Could have gone worse. Could have gone worse. Uh, poor Takeshi still hasn't level up yet. Now, I'm pretty sure it said we get all the equipment even if we didn't loot it, so that's good. So, let's see what we got. Oh, okay. I had always assumed the Phoenix Project would return one day, even after Symes disappeared. 
It seems to be the defining pattern of your history. Fall, then rise again. I wonder if this points to an underlying weakness or an underlying strength. I suppose time will have to tell. Time and the choices you make. After all, you are not necessarily defined by what has come before. You can be whatever your will allows you to be. That is the essence of the human experience. Okie dokie. What happened to those soldiers was disturbing. Yes, they went insane and then I shot most of them in the face. That is why I did not intervene. We could have stopped those soldiers ourselves easily enough. But I needed you to see, to understand that far more is at stake here than just our ecosystem or our genetic purity. We are being robbed of what makes us human, our will. I fear neither the Utopians at Synedrian nor those Anu fanatics really understand that. If you can recognize the real nature of the threat, perhaps we can work together on stopping it. Okay. That's kind of a weird attitude to take. He's like, oh, we could have dealt with those guys easily, but we thought we'd let you do it because will. <laughs> like, uh, okay, sure. Uh, I got some materials out of it, though. Did they, did they lie to me? I think they lied to me. I thought it said... Oh yeah, no, hang on. Bulldog AR-50 magazine. Okay, it did pick the loot up. Okay. I mean, I don't have a Bulldog AR-50. Um, but that must have been what the other guys dropped. Okay. I think also internal politics. Yeah. Well, it's kind of a bit of a funny thing, isn't it? It's like, we've got these crazy people running around killing everybody, but we thought we'd let you deal with it. Uh, okay. Um, okay, I think all we picked up was this ammunition, this AR-50 ammunition. New Jericho... Oh, Gorse Assault Rifles! They were shooting at me with Gorse Assault Rifles? God, I must have got lucky. Bloody hell. Right, so that is... Uh, Fort Eleutheria, which is New Jericho. Okay. They thought you needed convincing the Pandora virus is bad. Yeah, having just shot a bunch of guys prior to now, you think I would have been knowing what was going on, really? I'm Tobias West, and I'm here to ask you a question. Does the sweat of a man's brow belong to himself? That's, uh... Ah, uh, what's his face from Bioshock, whose name I honestly can't remember. Um... Isn't it? I think. Okay, we have a level up with the sniper. Okay, this this will be interesting. Um, so what does she have? Sniper training, obviously. Paranoid. Perception plus four, hearing range plus ten. Because you are not, because the monsters are real. <laughs> nice. Uh, that's quite funny. Right, we have extreme focus. Overwatch cost is set to one action point for all weapons. That sounds great. Uh, I think I'm on board with that. Uh, what difficulty am I Veteran. Yeah, that's... that's the, why would you not take that? That sounds majestic. Also, I completely forgot any of the other skills that anyone else had. Again. So that's a, that's a slight weakness. <laughs> Um, I don't think Die Hard is a great one for this one. Two or three. Uh, three, because I think it's story mode, rookie, then veteran. So we're on veteran, which is like right in the middle, I think. Uh, okay, armor break is the next one. So I, I think I might just save up the, uh... I might save up the... Well, actually, no, I can spend it on her willpower and stuff, can't I? That's a good point. Uh, yeah, more willpower is probably not a bad idea. I'll do, yeah. Right. Uh, right. Uh, these guys are resting for now, I think. 
Uh, there's a Forsaken Priest in that Haven you have to fight? Oh, okay. Well, we haven't encountered him yet, so that's okay. So that's, that is a Haven. Okay. What's this? Oh! Farm provides plus four passenger slots and stamina recovery. Oh, so we've already got that module, so we don't actually have to stay at the base in order to recover um, stamina. That's handy. Do we heal when we're on the move? I'm not sure. Um, should we go back or should we explore? Let's let's test it. Let's test it. Okay, the stamina's not going up though. Oh, you don't heal. Okay. Right, gotcha. So it'd be better off to go back to the base. Right, cool. Stamina does, but... Um... Health doesn't. Okay. So, let's keep going for a bit. Research complete. Okay. Haven recruitment protocols. Uh, we created a set of biometric and psych eval tests in order to select potential recruits. One suitable individual every few days, one signing up on, on signing up with us. Single allotment of comestibles as compensation for the services. Recruiting havens with leaders favorable to our cause. They want to get rid of people they don't want. Okay, that's funny. Uh... However, if necessary, a reliable indoctrination program could be implemented. Wow! Okay. Ooh -hoo -hoo. How much of this game have I played? Uh, how long have I been streaming? Uh, nearly three hours. About three hours worth. <laughs> Recruiting is vital in order to achieve victory. In order to recruit, send your aircraft to a haven with a recruit soldier icon next to it. Okay. Select Haven Info and press the Recruitment button on the Training Zone of the Haven. Okay, so I'm guessing because we just did that thing for them... Uh, another Heavy! Okay. Recruit Heavy, Level 1, Tunnel Rat, Takedown. Takedown? Jetpack... Oh, is that telling me what skills he might have? Okay. Interesting. Uh, right, it said new research. Oh, here we go. Haven Trade Protocols and New Jericho. Okay, so it'd be worth doing these because these are short. Okay, so if we put those at the top. Yeah, okay. And then put... Oh, that's just swapped it round. Okay, yep, New Jericho. Yep, that's good. Right, let's put it at the top. Okay. First playthrough and modded. Yeah, I, I, well, the reason, the reason behind it was a lot of people, I picked this up with all the DLC and a lot of people were saying some of the DLC kind of, um, uh, makes a bit of a hash of certain things and everyone was saying Terror from the Void actually fixes a lot of these things. So that's why I went to Terror from the Void, because um, they, they said it helps with the DLC, so... What is this? Thunderbird 4. A thousand out of a thousand. Okay, I guess that's New Jericho's equivalent of the Manticore, I'm guessing. Okay, so let's go... Should we go recruit this guy? Okay, so Haven Info, it said. There we go. I can steal aircraft! What? I can raid? Oh, this is interesting. Festering Skies is considered the worst of the DLC. Yeah, that, that was the thing. And and the, what I read of this mod um, is that it reworks, like, all the DLC. And I was kind of like, well, that, that sounds fun. Oh, I'm beginning to see what Cornish is saying about the whole food situation. Yeah, that's 350 food, which is more than half of what we already have. Eesh. Um... Do I want to do that? Hmm. 
Hmm. Or should we see about getting some more resources first? I don't know. I mean, we won't starve, question mark. If I'm going to be a big cowardly cuss and put a manual slave in here. Will we... Nope, let's not use spell that. Will we starve? <laughs> oh, God! That is not what I meant to do! That is the console. I did not want to... No, nope. well, now we found the console button. Ah. <laughs> uh... Question mark is the console button. Good, good to know. <laughs> oh, we have learned a thing there. Okay, so I just for giggles, I'm gonna recruit this person. But I love this. We can like raid people and steal their aircraft. That's hilarious. Right, recruit soldier. Go for it. Right. And then everyone starved. Uh, Alejandra Jen. Sorry. Wow. That is an outfit what have you got there sir deceptor machine gun new jericho ghost machine gun uh the really funny thing about it is i don't think i have any ghost machine gun ammo so you may have to take something else instructions unclear have <laughs> fun console button what next yeah exactly uh we don't have any gorse machine gun ammo we had the uh assault rifle gorse ammo so he's gonna have to take either the the other hell cannon which i think is probably gonna be an idea and have we only got like uh okay Right, hang on. Uh, Hal Cannon and... Wait, what's this? Oh no! Deceptor MG Magazine! Okay, we do have a, a spare. Oh, did they just swap it over? It just swapped it over. I'm losing, I'm losing the plot. Okay, so we've got like... We effectively, we've got two magazines worth. Oh, no, that's a Hell Cannon. Wait, sorry. My brain. Oh, it's unloaded the gun! Okay, it's unloaded the gun automatically. Right. Oh, that's quite nifty. I was like, oh, we do have ammo. No, it just, you just unequipped it and it unloaded the gun for you, which is actually quite a nifty little feature. Um, let's give him another magazine. That is an outfit. That, that is an outfit. A gorilla bat stone bane the lunatic? That's, that's like, uh, that's a clip from Stellaris, isn't it? Good lord. Right, what have I got? Return fire. Nice. Tunnel rat. Stealth plus 15%, speed plus 1. Uh, okay. Takedown. 80 damage and 160 shock damage to adjacent target. Replaces bash? Oh, hell yes. They can literally, like, clonk people in the face. Okay, I like that idea. I'm, I'm down for that. Okay. Um, right, I guess we go exploring. So does this mean they're already loaded onto the manticore? Yes, they are. Okay, that's cool. Right. Uh, we've cleared that one. So let's go here. Oniric Delirium. Virus strain. Oh my god. <laughs> I I do wonder if it's going to get to a particular point of information overload and my head is going to come off. Which can be quite funny to witness all in of itself. I just put a quick pause in here because uh, I can see ads are running. Pursue ads! Yeah, we've recently switched over from... Uh, Pre rolls to mid rolls, um, because it seems to be working out better. But as always, it's kind of cursed whichever way we do it. Okay, uh, in this third mist, the Pandora virus has mutated yet again. The new strain is slowly driving the survivors insane. In the membrane, uh, willpower, willpower are reduced. Okay, willpower points 
plural, are reduced, that makes sense. By the amount of delirium a character has. This is an effect... Oh, God. Each 10 points in stamina reduces the effect of delirium by one. So basically what I'm figuring out here is that... We can get high on the crazy gas, and that's bad. Okay. Hmm. Dealing or living with delirium will become available with Phoenix and Faction Research. Okay. Excerpt from Aniric Delirium Psychosocial Impact Assessment. We're ready to share our preliminary findings during the new Pandora's Virus. Pandora's Virus? Transporting viral DNA and other microbes. Do you know what would solve that? Napalm. Lots and lots of napalm. It still mentions the Aniric Delirium Index. I thought that was removed in an early patch. I have no idea. Um, it's entirely possible that this mod has repurposed it. I, I, I'm not sure. Hey, everybody, Baltosa, how's it going? Let's give you a shout out. I hope you're feeling a bit better. But yes, uh, everyone go check out Robert Battletoaster. He's a lovely, lovely chap. You're alive. I mean, that is a plus. You know what? The self that napalm. New Jericho rep plus five. Yeah, I'm getting the impression New Jericho might be a little bit fanatical. But if my options are literally like fanatical, uh whatever the, the other guys was and aliens are great i'm not entirely sure how i'm going to yeah mm. toaster no bad go rest get well <laughs> okay so this is bad um we re received reports of a variety of afflictions suffered by individuals who have traveled or reside in areas covered by the mist tiredness lack of energy brain fog anguish and sometimes hallucinations i mean aside from hallucinations most of those are me on a Monday morning. Tiredness, lack of energy, brain fog, anguish. I mean, anguish varies, but, you know. Symptoms never fully disappear, but are negligible when the subjects are fully rested. Symptoms get worse, the subject stays and returns to locations where mist is present. We have termed this condition oniric delirium on account of subjects complaining of nightmares or crazy dreams. Our operatives can now be afflicted with a delirium status of up to a third of their willpower. Oh boy! Most of those symptoms are family. <laughs> Familiar? Yeah. The factions are all a bit special, yes. Okay, why... I'm worried why it was telling me about that now. Is it because we're getting close to the mist? I... 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 Have I... Have I... Have I missed an important bit of information? <laughs> uh. Oh. Uh, that's another New Jericho Haven. Okay. We appear to have bunked up next to New Jericho, which is, um, interesting. Uh, up to a third of their willpower. Okay. There's a lot going on in this. There is a lot going on. Is this just nothing but New Jericho? Maybe I should, like, I'm going to go over here. Let's see what we've got over here. Oh! Oh dear. That looks like an asteroid. Is it getting worse? Hashtag, things got worse. Oh dear. What, what does this mean? Egg. Giant space egg. Sky angry, yeah definitely. Hammerfall. Giosodam. Yes. Uh. Wow. The asteroid hit deep inside a quarantine zone where the Pandora virus has aggressively mutated the surrounding oncology. Oh. Okay. Anu Havens join in a ritual to welcome the prophesized trials and tribulations. The incomprehensible chant revolving across the airwaves. Snedrium trapped to the complex web in a politics. Okay. Yeah, New Jericho just says, fuck this, blow it up. 
I'm I'm guessing this is this is what New Jericho does. Oh fuck! And there it is. Uh, it's a giant eyeball. What what that do? Uh, that's like literally right next to my base. What the, what does it it the giant eyeball? I don't want it. I'm worried. That's that's literally next fucking door. Oh dear. I feel that's that's bad. What does the eyeball do? You never watched the Lord of the Rings movies. <laughs> Can I advise Dakar? Yeah, uh, I feel that might be the case. Right, the truth is in there. At full Artemis, a nurse alerts our operatives the presence of Colonel Budahas. Uh, he's in the infirmary. He clutches a black bulletproof case and refuses to give it anyone except a Phoenix Project operative. Is this the nuclear football? The things I've seen. You just have to open it. I love how I haven't got the option of not opening the briefcase. The CIA actively sabotaging the Phoenix Project. Lovely. Operative 11. Uh, okay. Nice. New Jericho's attitude to Phoenix Project plus 6, research plus 75. Okay. So... I'm... I'm concerned. <laughs> I've got a giant fucking eyeball. Uh, literally camped... You know, a couple of hundred miles away from my base. I don't like it. Okay, I notice we have just... We have not uncovered anything other than other people's havens. This is a bit weird. Heavy X-Files reference? Oh, yeah, I thought that ringed a bell. Ringed a bell? Rang a bell. Ringed a bell. Research complete. Oh, Haven Trade Protocols. Uh, nice. Okay, cool. Can I trade resources with the Havens? New Jericho. Uh, militaristic organization founded by Tobias. Yeah, I got that. I got the gist of that. Um... Uh... Having built a cult of personality. Ah, uh, huge Industrial military complex? A cult of personality? What could possibly go wrong? New Jericho was one man's vision. And everything depended on that one man. Before the war, Tobias West had been a billionaire. An elusive, controversial businessman who denounced war even as he profited from it. When the world fell, his empire began to rise. Some said he was a genius, a man of principle, dedicated to equality and merit, fighting to preserve the core of human freedom, our will. They said he had a plan, that he could lead us to victory. Others called him a dictator, a megalomaniac, fearful of infection and obsessed with purity. They said he was willing to do anything to win, no matter the cost. The Phoenix Project needed allies, New Jericho could help us turn the tide, but it all depended on one man. Yeah, I don't think we've uh, developed the anti-eyeball cannon just yet, which is a, a shame. Uh, Did I not explore here? Oh, I haven't actually got there yet. Okay. Let's have a look. Reverse engineering, Deceptor MG. Oh! Oh, we can mass produce these if we uh, figure out what's going on with them. That's cool. And all that came about uh, because the uh, the dude we recruited was armed with it. I wish I could you could order these a bit more logically, because I'll have to keep clicking on that, and then that's going to go there, and now that's gone underneath that, then that's got up there. 
If there's just a button like sort by date, that'd be great, but I think I've nailed it. Had a whole lot of fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm having fun with it so far. Uh, the information overload is threatening to kick in, but that's nothing unusual. Cancel them and redo them in the order you like. Thank you again, Gothic. That is the third top tip you have sent my way. That would have made that would have worked. Right, is this another Jericho Haven? Because I, I want to do some shoot shoots. Ah, exploration site. Here we go. Oh, okay, so we've got like RPG aspects to this as well. Okay, this is cool. Uh, I don't have all the DLC, just got blood and titanium. Yeah, I I think they had I think the sale ends tomorrow actually. Steam had the entire kit and caboodle for I think it was like eight quid. I think it was something like six quid for the base game and eight quid for the everything edition. Or a tenner, I think it was. And I was like, yeah, let's have that. <laughs> right. Uh, a seemingly unremarkable ruin. Our operatives stumble across a book half hidden in a pile of rubble. An old copy of Olaf Stapleton's visionary novel Star Maker is unusually well preserved. Collapsed library. Sealed off under the rubble, the books have remained almost completely undamaged. While not useful in a war against the Pandora virus, these books represent a vital part of humanity's history. Would digging them out be worth it? Ooh. I mean, we can afford it. I'm also wondering if I we can trade like our materials for some food and some tech because uh but yeah, we'll figure that out in a minute. Yeah, fuck it. Let's dig it out. Uh, the Bounty is Rich, Complete Works of Doris Lessing, Robert Byron's The Road to Oxiana, and a worn copy of Arcadian Boris Drugatsky's The Final Circle of Paradise. Long Thought Lost, Snedron's Attitude plus six, New Jericho plus three, Disciple of Anu, do not like us. Why well, have a funny feeling Disciple of Anu are not going to be our friends? Don't have the money for them this week? Oh, that's fair enough. I'm not good at multitasking. Join the fucking choir, Gothic. I am not the best at multitasking either. Uh, should we actually check in on our base to see if there's actually anything we can... I assume we can't build anything else. Doesn't look like it. Oh, build. I take it back. We can build something. What can we build? What should we build? Food production. That's an idea! Uh, wait, what's what's our power ratings, power levels at? Uh, power, power, power. Power consumption, 11, 12, okay. Yeah, I've just noticed we don't have the ability to create food. That's quite funny. They worship the mist aliens? Yeah, I don't think we're going to be friends. Um, also, hello, Thedra. I, I can't remember if I said hello earlier on, or maybe I didn't. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be that we're gonna be friends with the alien worshipping people. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can trade for it, but I think having our own food production probably isn't a terrible idea. That's that. 40 tech, 200 materials. Yeah, let's go for that. That sounds like a good idea. Whether it is indeed actually a good idea, I don't know, but I think producing food would be a good idea. Right. Uh I am still worried about this giant eyeball. I'm gonna be honest. Um, should we go here or should we go there? That is a little close to the old Misty Woos. Wait, are we not going to get any hostile things unless we go into the mist? Or can hostile stuff happen anywhere? I guess hostile stuff can probably happen anywhere. The original XCOM base shape, which I quickly and efficiently reached using a save game editor because it's illogical on its layout. Oh well. Uh... Okay, let's uh let's go here. I mean it's literally there. Right, explore. Okay, the poison within Nas Nasibina? Nasibina. Are the disciple Oh do no. are the disciples of Anu Haven of Nasabina. A mutated worm infestation is causing serious problems. 
against the Pandorans was unable to help. We could eradicate the infestation ourselves, helping the Haven, creating a good first impression with this faction. I mean, we could. I mean, why, why not? What is this minus eight that's just popped up? Oh, they hate us. That's okay. So, sure. Worms, what's the worst that could happen? How does one stop playing Stellaris, have an older PC that just crashes the game and realize you forgot to eat dinner? Yeah, eating dinner is important. In fact, this is um, uh, precisely why I've started streaming later. Um, because I these days I now cook before the stream. I used to cook after the stream and it was like it was a bit of a naff idea. Um, so yeah, that's kind of why we, uh, we're starting a little bit, uh, later these days. The disciples of Anu are odd, but shooting worms is fun. Yeah, the worst? Brain-controlling worms, yeah. I think these are the poison ones, aren't they? Right, uh, we could go up very high. Let's go up very high. Let's, let's see, because I'm assuming the worms can't fly. Look at that, we just got a battlefield overview. How about that? Will point zones. Will point zones represent areas of the battlefield with strategic advantage. Restore will points to your entire squad. I had no idea whether that was a will point zone or not, but uh, sure. How can I tell what is what is and what isn't a will point will point zone? I don't know. Okay, so that was actually a really good move because that's now revealed all of these little bastards. So what this basically means is I need to make a firing line about here. <laughs> oh, a white glow to them. Oh, I just thought that meant high up. Oh, so it's that funky, that funky white highlight on the high buildings. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so we got one there, one there. Wait, where's grenade guy? I, I feel we could buy ourselves some time here. Uh, it's Jacob, isn't it? Yeah, I mean... Wait, this is a good point. I have to, I probably have to manufacture my grenades if I use them, don't I? And using a grenade on a worm seems a little bit excessive. Um, but then getting eaten by one is also probably very bad. Um... Okay, we can set up Overwatch there. They're not free. Okay. Uh, we can set up an overwatch through the middle there. Not even ammo is free? Oh, uh, yeah, no, that makes sense. It's a fight against infestation, nothing is excessive. I'm just tempted to grenade this thing because this is not a great fire lane. Um just to give us some breathing room. Uh, so I might just do that, honestly. Because, I mean, that's one, that's one shot, one kill, so... <sighs> Alerted! And exploded! Oh, they'll attempt to track down and attack your school. Oh, yeah, because I was kind of stealthy. Overkill. Overkill. But, you know. Ah, kill and run. Okay, once per turn, take a free move after killing an enemy. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I still have two action points. So if I did... So what, do I have to click on this? Oh, nice! Okay, okay, so that kill and run's pretty good. Right, so if I then said... What, if I got here, can I overwatch here? Or is that going to block me off? It might block me off, let's find out. Enemy spotted. Uh, Where? 
It says enemy spotted, but then it says I can't shoot any of them. Oh, it's there. Okay, that's fair. It's through a fence. Right. Uh, that's not going to work. Because it's blocked, but that bit isn't. So... Yeah, okay, we're learning, we're learning, we're learning. There's no such thing as overkill as only open fire and reloading. It's very true. Right, he too... No, hang on a minute. Um... Now, Alejandra has the... Oh, no, no, we haven't unlocked it yet. But further down their skill tree, they have a, a really good melee ability, which would combo majestically with um, the jet jump, but we haven't got that yet, so I'm not worried about that. Okay, yeah, this this whole Overwatch thing has become a bit of a, a, bit of a revelation to yours, truly. I'm assuming they can't... Oh, they might be able to get over here. Fuck! I didn't think they could get over... I mean, it's a worm. Can it really climb if it's a worm? It's only a worm. Let's, let's not take chances, shall we? Enemy spotted. What? Where? What? We, we spotted all of them, surely? Nope. Carry on. Carry on. Right. What'd that look like? Pretty okay. Nice! That noise is just funny. <laughs> it sounds like a fucking... <laughs> I, I honestly thought it was the alien making that noise initially. It was like, I have killed the alien! You know, it's like, oh, never mind. Right, okay. Uh, Again... Uh, Omar, you're not going to do an awful lot here, so why don't you get up there with your mate, and then comedy can ensue. Hey. Okay, right. Sophia. Sophia can actually shoot at that one. Oh, shit, there's another one over here. Oh, bastard, bastard, bastard. There's more of them than I thought. That was not good situational awareness. Uh, this is fine. I'm going in. Fun sound. Yeah, the sound's really good. Yeah, I goofed a little bit there. Area covered. I goofed just a little bit. Wait, why is... Oh, because I moved her. Wait, action point only costs... Oh, because we unlocked that ability that means she only does one action point for Overwatch. Okay. That's quite cool. Uh, so... Actually, right where she is, that'll work. Fuck it. Okay, you guys can't do an awful lot from up there right now. That worm's like, fuck this, I'm gone, I'm off. Oh, that was on the roof. I thought that was on the ground. Yeah, you ain't gonna hit that. You, on the other hand, are. Oh, they're fast. They're fast. God, they are bloody everywhere. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Okay, right. Now, here's the question. Now, this is this is the slight issue I have with these heavies. They will probably not be able to hit anything from up here. Just as a guess. Yeah, that's a that's a big fucking deviation there. That's that ain't going to be good. I mean, we can try it because there's literally not much else they can do from up there. Um Maybe they need to be a little bit closer. Oh, they literally can't see anything from up there. Okay. Right, who has not got much XP? I don't think the sniper does, so maybe we should use her to shoot something first. Like, that guy. That's a much easier shot. Which she fucking missed. I should keep my gob shut. How much does it cost to fire the pistol? Oh, 
it only costs one AP to fire the pistol. Oh. And she missed with that too. <laughs> so she can hit the worm when it's on the run. No problem. Can she hit it when it's fucking stationary? No. Oh, God. Oh, wait, hang on. We were talking about the, uh, the melee bash. Ah, yes, that's what they can do. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Right. How much damage does the melee bash do? Uh, will it tell me? 91. Okay, so we can actually kill these two with no problems because we can just next, we can land next. I have been using these guys wrong the entire time. I I completely forgot what Gothic told me earlier. They can literally land next to these guys and just smash them over the head with a gun. So we could take out those two, no problem. Uh, it, it kind of does have a DFA move, sort of. This this heavy here, further down the skill, she's got a thing. If she if she lands next to something, she can do like a, a powered up melee. Um. Right, so if we take care of this worm, the other two are dealt with. Okay, I'm good with that. Let's do that. I also fly out there with my heavies. It just felt like the best... It just felt like a good idea. Okay, there you go. That's handled. Um, Wait, what am I pointing at? Oh, she can see that one? Oh my god. Will that not result in... She might accidentally shoot Bulb. All right, we might reposition Bob slightly. No, let's shoot... Um, mm. I'm worried she's going to shoot Bob. I mean, Bob's not in the... Bob is not in the sight picture. So she shouldn't hit Bob. Oh, also, she's got a free move. Oh, this kill and run thing is great. Oh, it's great when you don't misclick. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, okay. Uh never mind. I I that went from a really good shot to getting the skill wrong and making that a really bad shot. So hang on a minute. Let's uh Oh dear. Let's get Bob involved now. Oh he can't see shit. Okay. I don't quite know how I managed to misuse that uh that ability, but misuse it I did. Here I am. Let's do this. Right. I was like, I've got a free I've got a free thing, and it's like, yeah, no, you've missed. Right, okay, let's try this. Uh but then we got the two there. Is that going to be in a range? I have a horrible feeling that's in range, because these things can fucking motor. Oh, I feel so safe and cozy up there. Yeah, it does a bit, doesn't it? Uh, what does that look like? That looks bad. Oh god, I have a bunch of very drunk people walking past my window singing three lines on a shirt. Let's try it. Let's try it. Okay, uh, four action points. Yeah, okay, this is fine. Hello. Okay, I did 34 damage to my gun. That's probably not great, is it? How can you tell how buggered your gun is? That's an important question. Uh. Oh, 116 out of 150. Okay, that is not a tactic. Um. That's not a tactic we want to use too often. Because that'll break his gun. Uh, okay. Right, Alejandro. Um, why don't you pop down here? 
Yeah, don't don't want to bust your gun. Right, so what have we got left? Okay, he's got kill and run. He's only got one AP left. Oh, I hope they can't get that clip. Oh, I know. Right, I know what. I know what threw me off. So normally, when you move, um, it gives you the prompt. With the kill and run, it doesn't give you the prompt. That's what threw me. Right, now you see, here's the thing I should pay attention to, because if we used quick aim, we could actually get another shot off, because I've got one AP left. So if I'd have actually been standing somewhere, I could have I could have done that. I didn't do that. This is fine. She can s What can she see? Finger on the oh my word, that's... What? I can't even see it. What What are you aiming at, madam? That looks like a long bomb. I mean... No, I didn't think that was going to hit anything. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, right, we got Sato. Um... Hmm. Can we rename Bob to Karit and Bob? <laughs> I think I think he 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 started out as something else, and I can't remember who it was that told me to call him, uh, name him Bob. I mean, we could could give him uh, Karit and Bob as a, as a prefix. If I just stand here like this, that's probably safer. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Let's let's just just in case they're super stupid fast. Let's do that. Uh, let's put Bob there. Right, considering we're fighting worms, I am probably thinking this through way too much. Oh, you can damage the cover. Okay, got it. Okay, they did not advance as far as I thought they would. Uh, Right. Doesn't Bob have a spare grenade? I thought Bob had a spare grenade. Oh, he does. Uh, that's going to cost an action point. Uh, actually, let's not worry about that right now. Uh, okay, Omar. Now, the thing is, he's now hiding behind there, which is kind of rude. Uh, can you see that one? Yes, you can. Can you hit it? That's the next question. I'm going to go with probably not. He killed the fuck out of whatever was next to it, which actually destroyed the cover. So that actually might that actually might work out. Um, wow, I did not realize how short range those things are. That's kind of crazy. Uh, case in point. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So. Rolling out. The heavies are a weird class. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of struggling a bit with the heavies. But yeah, that was definitely a happy accident, that one. Because if I move here and then I don't kill that, uh, that's probably bad. Mind you, he does have his own medkit, so... Oh my god. When they say short range, they're not fucking kidding. Here I am. Let's do this. You'll get some new equipment in a bit, they'll make them feel better. Okay. It's 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 awful. The range is awful. Uh I might am I gonna It says I'm not gonna hit him. I didn't. That's good. It's not dead, however. Right, now I've got one action point left, so what I can do I can use quick aim. Which then makes that one action point, and I can do it again. To no effect the second time. G good. Glad glad we did that. Uh. Uh. Well, someone's going to the hospital. Uh, wait, hang on. Why can Irina move so far? Jesus Christ. Okay, you may have to uh, do some uh, intervention here. 
Oh, because he's using the pistol. Tits. Oh, well. I forgot she had the pistol. Um. Oh, can you? Can you? Can you? can see that from there. Okay, let's try that. Yeah, I should, oh, that's a good point. I should have done it with the sniper rifle. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. I've got this. I've got this. Let's see if you do. It turned out he did have it, so that's okay. That was that was pretty clutch. Now run backwards because you got a bunch of ones in front of you. Retreat. Okay, these things don't move anywhere near as fast as the other Pandorans do, so I'm probably overreacting a little bit. Right, before we do anything else, go over to the sniper rifle. There we go, that's better. Um... Right, let's move there. I wonder if we, like, did a really short Overwatch cone that you might have a higher chance of hitting it. Let's try it. So if we did something like that, oh, mind you, that that's smaller. The Overwatch cones are a little bit odd to me, because that's probably going to do nothing. Because even when I was aiming, he wasn't very good at it. You can widen it. Uh oh, cone with control and oh oh yeah, it says right there. <laughs> Reading! Reading! Okay, that's actually pretty cool. So if you've got like a little gap, you can go like do do do, and then if you've got a big gap, you can do that. Oh! That's pretty fucking cool. Okay. Still reckon he's gonna miss every shot he takes, but you know. Right, in which case, uh. Bob, how's your willpower? Eight. Okay. So how does that work? Oh my god! Okay, so the assault guys have the Overwatch cone of the ages. Oh my god, that's bonkers. Okay, yeah, wow, that's uh, that'll do it. Gee, wow. Sure. Uh, okay, that only costs one. So can she? Okay, she can't see anything. Right. So how does this work with sniper rifles? Okay, pretty narrow, pretty big, pretty narrow. Okay, so if I actually did narrow, that would probably be better. Nothing's getting past me. Okay, we're learning things. We are learning things. Uh, okay, apparently we can't see those yet. Okay. I knew I was missing something on the Overwatch. Oh god, we're just overwatching everything all at once now. Yeah, so you can kind of like it might actually be advantageous to narrow it to so like it just covers off that bit. But then I suppose if you could do that, then you've oh well, yeah, no, that's why would you not do that? Let's just overwatch the moon. <laughs> hey, Blambeard, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Let me give you a shout out there. Welcome, everybody. Uh, oxygen not included. I am not super familiar with that one. Oh, I have a slight problem here because, uh, oh yeah, I have to click there. There we go. Yeah, it's not going too bad, actually. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, we're having quite a lot of, uh, a lot of fun with, uh, Phoenix Point. It's a bit of a learning curve, but, um, but yeah, it's pretty good fun so far. But, uh, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well and welcome raiders. We are, we are learning about Overwatch cones and how comedy they are. I think we have the situation covered. And if we don't, I've got another one. Here comes the Phoenix. 2D Rimworld with Don't Starve graphics. Ah, okay. People on an asteroid. Ah, cool. <laughs> oh god, we have all the Overwatch in the world. Right. Come get it, worms. Dinged it. Uh, he killed the crate. Good, good work. <laughs> He's 
guys are fucking useless. Okay. Note to self, don't put the heavies on Overwatch. It's a stupid idea. Um, I wanted to check this out for a while. How is it? Um, so this is not vanilla. Uh, this is the Terror from the Void um, overhaul mod. Um, so it's a bit different from vanilla. But uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I've got a little bit of... I, I keep making mistakes thinking this is XCOM, and it's not. <laughs> many, many poo water incidents. Oh, lovely. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been quite fun so far. Did that miss? I fucking did miss. That's amazing. And that missed again. Wow. Okay, look. Right, let's test the effective range on this thing. Seriously. Right, I fucking dare you to miss from this range. I double dog dare you. Okay. I think we found the effective range is about, like, three tiles. That was a lot of faff to deal with a bunch of worms, but we learned some important things. Uh, how, how, in your library? Yeah, it's kind of like... Sort of like XCOM, but not really. <laughs> yes and no. But yeah, I'm liking it so far. Okay, today we've learned about Overwatch cones. Did you know the two circles are like 50-50 go in either circle? It, good point. Yeah. Normally, when we encounter a potential ally, we first send the Apostle to the Onceborn to check them out. But I'm going to break protocol to say thanks. Now listen, I'll be honest with you. The Exalted is the only one who has any real answers. Tobias West may be clever, and Sinedrian may sound great, but only the Exalted is dealing with the world as it actually is. She can lead us out of this mess. Give us lives worth living. Okay, so I feel we're not ready to put our faith in your dogma, which is probably going to hurt our relations with these guys, but I, I'm i frightened of pissing off Jericho more than them, to be honest. But would we like to know more? Would you like to know more? This is probably going to piss them off. But I don't think we are ready. Also, they're kind of crazy. Fuck it. Very well. I don't blame you. It's hard to see the right path sometimes. I hope you recognize it while there's still time. The liturgy of the divine flesh is coming, whether you like it or not. Now, i got to say, if someone was trying to bring me around to their way of thinking, and he literally said his, his parting shot was... The liturgy of divine flesh is coming, whether you like it or not. I would be walking out a little bit faster. Okay, so it didn't harm our relations with them, but it increased our uh, increased the attitude with Jericho. So I guess that's that's an okay one. Phoenix Project. I've heard a lot about you people. Most of it weird. Science nerds with guns, huh? Well, I've heard worse ideas. Anyway, here's the inside scoop on New Jericho. Tobias West, probably a genius. Might be a bit crazy. But he has a plan. And a real plan is a heck of a lot better than all that touchy-feely crap at Sinedrian or whatever the hell those squid-worshipping disciples are up to. So stick with us, and maybe we'll die, or maybe we'll win. But either way, it'll be fun. Okay, so interestingly, despite the fact we actually, like, helped them out, I don't know if that actually changed their attitude toward us at all which is fine as far as i'm concerned and also i'm still worried about the giant pink eyeball why is the giant pink eyeball next to my house <laughs> oh boy oh uh so we can exchange one tech for five materials oh okay so it's only tech we can trade with Oh, wait, we can't trade with Jericho? Oh, interesting. So we can trade with them, but we can't trade with Jericho. That's a bit weird. I never had it, had it land that close to my first base. Great. Great. Something to look forward to. 
I mean, is it worth going and investigating there? Oh, actually, no, we need to heal up first. Let's 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 head back. At, no, do we need to heal up? Or is that XP? I think that's XP, isn't it? I'm not sure. Um. Oh, that's under construction. Okay, that's fine. Ugh. So how do we excavate, like, holes? Oh, I've got, like, four... I've got four things I can build. Oh, okay. So what are the white bars? I think the yellow bars were... Were the yellow bars... No, yellow bars. Fucking Egypt. The blue bars were stamina, weren't they? So what are the yellow bar, uh, the red, the white bars? Are they like XP? I guess they're XP. I don't know, because it doesn't look like anyone's actually like hurt or tired or anything. All power seven. Not sure. I'm confuzzled. Yeah, maybe it is. Okay, we'll go. We'll go heal up. That was a. Uh... Okay. Okay, everyone's fully rested. There we go. That's stamina. Yeah, I thought it was stamina. Uh, I, I I figured it was something along those lines. Right, Takeshi Sato. So he's another... Uh... Right, we're going to use that quick aim because... Well, I mean, it would have come in handy if I'd actually managed to hit anything with it, but... Ugh. Right. Um... So we could actually spend some on his stats if we wanted to. So we could like boost his willpower a little bit. Probably not a bad idea. Yeah, okay, that tracks. Uh Oh, the soldier SP is actually univert I only just noticed. Oh no, it isn't. They just happen to have the same amount. Duh. Oh, this guy's got this one's got Jericho body armor on. Oh, which makes sense, because they came from Jericho. Uh, that has minus two per... Did my... Does my spare one have minus two perception? Oh, it's got minus five perception. That's even worse. What the hell? Oh, can we do the Greet and Bob thing? Uh, yeah, okay, hang on a minute. Where is he? Uh, we could we could give him a full... He could, he could have a full one. He could be... There you go. He's now Greet and bob Eba. bob Eba? bob Eba. There we go. Um, yeah, the Phoenix skill points are are the universal pool. Yeah, but it was it threw me because those two soldiers had the same AP, uh, same SP, and I thought it was the same thing, but it isn't. Uh, right, who was it? Le who was it? We actually leveled. I'm sure, somebody leveled. Was it Sophia? No. Wait, I'm so confused. Or maybe it was Bob. Oh no, it's Takeshi. That was it. Oh my god, my brain's going. What does Eber add? Oh, that was just his name from earlier. Omar has a lot of points to spend. Oh yeah, did he have like 80? Oh god, he's got 80. You're right. Jesus Christ. Oh, did I just neglect to spend... I just didn't spend any of his points. This makes sense. Right, okay, what do we got? Uh, return fire. Shoot back at an enemy when it attacks, providing the soldier is using a direct fire projectile weapon with proficiency. And the enemy is within half perception range. Okay, that sounds fun. Hunker down. Gain 10 armor until your next turn. Your next attack costs minus 1 AP. That also sounds good. Jetpack control. Jump to a location within 14 tiles, limited to one use per turn. So what's the difference between that and the regular one? 20 tiles, 14 tiles. Wait, that's less distance. Why would I want to jump less distance? That seems weird. <laughs> that's a puzzle. Oh, it uses... Oh, right, yeah. The the regular one uses three, doesn't it? No, I'm sure... I could have sworn the regular one uses two, doesn't it? Hang on. Uh... I can't remember if 
it uses two, it uses oh the regular uses three. Okay, so that makes it cheaper. Okay, that's not a bad shout. He still can't fire with his gun because the gun costs three to fire, but he could at least move. Okay. You already have minus sixteen accuracy with him. Uh, oh yeah, minus sixteen accuracy. There you go. So where's that coming from? Oh, that's coming from the heavy armor. Okay, so it's the it's the it's the 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 heavy armor that's doing that. Okay. Oh wow, this is worse. Oh no, it's the same. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm not too sure about return fire either, to be honest. But it says when enemy attacks. So if he gets meleed, he would shoot them in the face. Which, even at that range, I think he would probably hit them. Because the the it, it would be less effective against guys with guns, but any of the Pandoran monsters, if if he had that and they whacked him in the face, he'd just turn around and go kaboom, and that would be quite funny. Uh, a machine gun for that guy? Uh, we're researching the machine gun. Um... But I, I like the idea, because it works against everything. We'll, we'll take it. We'll take it for now. Right, and then we got 70? Dear God. Uh, so what's reducing his willpower by 2? Is it... Oh, History of Violence. Okay, so he does more damage, but he's lost 2 willpower. Okay, how much does willpower cost? Okay, well, that's upped him to 9, which actually might not be a bad idea, actually. Uh... Hunker down sounds pretty good. In fact, jetpack control and hunker down together works pretty good. So he could jetpack somewhere, move, and then hunker down. That uh, that would probably open up a lot of things. Yeah, I'm down with that. Let's try that. Oh, he looks that. Yeah, jetpack, hunker in a def defensive position, unload next turn. Yeah. Yeah, I think we are researching because we picked up that uh wherever the fuck it is. Um Where did that machine gun go? I'm sure we had a machine gun. That's weird. I'm sure somebody had that. Oh well, never mind. Hang on, let me uh where's the other where's the other heavy? That's the hell cannon. Oh, did we did we consume the machine gun because we researched it? I suppose that would make sense. It gets consumed when you reverse engineer it. That's what I thought. That makes sense. But then that means we're going to be able to mass produce it, so that's good. Okay. Uh, right. That die hard thing. I think that's that's. Chance to survive with one hit point and have all negative effects cleared. I just think if you're in that much trouble, coming back with one hit point isn't going to help you that much. Um, all right, how much does the speed cost? Can we up his speed a little bit? Never took die hard. No, it strikes. I think that lulls you into a full sense of security. To be honest, I think I probably prefer to spend it on like speed or willpower or something. Like up his up his movement speed a little bit. Hey, let's try that. Yeah, I mean he's already a bit he's a bit buggered because of the armor, but that's offset it a bit. Yeah, I'm up. I'm I'm down with that. That seems good. Uh, nobody else has a huge amount. I do kind of like how goofy the. Uh... Oh, unequip all items. I can toggle the helmet. Hello. <laughs> Hello, madam. Uh, oh, the one thing that does bug me, you can you can toggle the helmet, but it toggles helmets for the entire team, so you can't have some people with helmets and some people without. But there we go. What's this? Uh, unequip. Saves. Ca oh, you've got loadout saves. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that. That is good. Uh, we likey. 
Okay. Uh, research labs. Oh yeah, I could do with a research lab, couldn't I? Jesus Christ. Uh, can I afford a research lab? Can I build a research lab? Um... 300 and 200, that's gonna use all of my tech. That seems like a really bad idea. Uh, to be continued. <laughs> um, right. What was I doing? Uh, still worrying about the giant eyeball. I'm going to be brutally honest with you. Um, let's go have a look down here. Research complete. Okay, the Phoenix Archives. After recovering the base, analyzing the data banks have been left functional. Phoenix Point is now the only operating Phoenix base. No sign of Randolph Symes III, but he has left something potentially useful for us. New research available. Randolph Symes was the last leader of the Phoenix Project. His great-grandfather had been there when it was founded, and he was there to witness its end. When we took back Phoenix Point, we found his notes. In his final days, as the world collapsed around him, he'd been working frantically to understand the Pandora virus. Somewhere in the complicated history of the project, in decades of missions and investigations, there had to be an answer. His notes were damaged, too many of the files corrupted. But perhaps, if we could retrace his steps, we could figure out where his journey had taken him and what the answers he had discovered would mean for us. Tentacles, probably. The Phoenix Path. All critical Phoenix objectives are marked with the Phoenix Point symbol. Completing these objectives will bring you closer to solving the Pandora virus crisis. Taking this course is not the only path to victory. Okay. Whatever happened to Dr. Symes? Reynolds Symes 3's notes indicate the existence of a private retreat owned by the Symes family. It may contain information that could help us understand what Symes was trying to achieve in his final days. Edit to just get the Symes retreat. Okay. Base activation. There are a number of inactive Phoenix bases spread throughout the world. Oh god, I can have multiple bases? Oh Jesus. How can I be so brutal? Br brutal? Eh? No sign of random signs, but unrandom signs are prevalent. There are even signs pointing to the signs of the unrandom signs. It was signception. Uh, increasing possibility that bases will be infested after you activate them. You will need to send a squad to clear out the infestation before you can use the base. Goody gumdrops. Okay. Uh, so that's. That's the science retreat. Okay, so we haven't finished this one off yet. Okay, good to know. It's another fucking haven. We're just surrounded by fucking... Uh... New Jericho at the moment. This is kind of crazy. Uh, first assault recon far module. Uh, okay, let's cancel all these for a second. Uh, right. What does this do? Carry up to four additional operatives in any aircraft. The far module will also allow soldiers to effectively rest and recuperate midair. That sounds handy. You even admitted you were brutal? Honestly? Did I? I don't know. The map is huge. The map is very big, yeah. Uh, okay, Disciples of Anu. Bonus effects food. Yes. We need that. Said to have been a series of cultists before the Third World War. They're, they're nutty. They're nutty tentacle worshippers. That's what they are. Right. That's 13 hours. You said you were brutally honest. Honest. Brutal hamster. Some days. Some days. Right. Uh... Okay, that's one day, one hour. So that can go in next. That's one day, one hour. So that can go in next. Mine fragger. Yep. First recon far module. Actually, I might boost that. I might boost the far module up a bit, actually. Oh shit! I just put. There we go. There we go. Uh. 
I'll get this right in a second. There we go, that's better. Right, uh, yeah, so reverse engineering the machine guns, that's good. Try an autopsy, Arthur an autopsy, Pandora Evolution, there we go. There we go. Uh, that's the one you have one of for free in your first aircraft. To build more for your extra aircraft of those modules, you need that research. Ah, okay. Um. Oh, okay. Allows maintenance of two ground vehicles and two aircraft. Oh, okay. Uh, I have no idea how I build more aircraft, though. Um, have I learned how to build aircraft yet? I don't think I have, have I? Oh, manufacturing. That's where that'd be. Oh. Gemini, Scarab, Manticore. Yep, never mind. <laughs> I can have two planes! Um, are you brutally cunning or cunningly brutal? Uh, depends on which day you catch me on. <laughs> Some days I am both Gork and Morg. So we can actually build vehicles. That could actually be quite a useful thing. Um. Okay, so we could actually build a we could build a scarab. Um. That would use half of our stuff though. So we've got aircraft, ground stuff. What's this? Don't know what that is. What's a mutog? Mutog? Don't know what that is. Weapons, module. Wait, I think this has got a bit confused. Oh! That's literally all I can make. Okay. Armor. Wow, we should have looked at this earlier. Golem. Banshee. Okay, so that's the sniper stuff. Praetorian? Oh, that's a salt hamlet. Oh, wow, have we got upgrades already? Uh, Praetorian 2, Guardian. Uh, Guardian XA. Oh, are these like the... These were like the, um, the weird scavenger guy's armor. They're cheaper and worse. Yeah, I thought they might be. Yeah, because these, those are the, uh, ones from the dudes we've been fighting. Okay. Wait, I can scrap things? Oh, I can scrap things! Oh, okay. So let's say there's something I really just didn't want. I could scrap it. Okay. Right. I wonder if... Uh, do we really need a second aircraft right now? People playing highest difficulties sometimes have to make do with those. Yeah, I bet. I bet. Okay. Um. So we could do the Symes retreat. Um. I must admit, I'm getting a little bit on the tired side. Um. I recently I have been going a little bit over four hours, but we're right on the button for four hours. And honestly, I think this is a good place to stop. We have a giant eyeball. Uh. We have a plot mission to go do. Um, we got a lot of stuff on the boil, so I'm gonna whack in a manual save there. This is fine. Okay, cool, that works. And then we do that. Lovely. Right, let's go to the ending screen. Thank you all very much for being a part of the stream. It is much appreciated. Uh, thank you, Jgoti, for the follow. If I had a bunch of raids today as well. Thank you, Blambeard and the Cornish Knight for the raids. Thank you very much. Thank you very kind. Um, I'll be back, like it says on the screen there, on Saturday. I'm going to have a couple of days off with some more Phoenix Point. Um, quite enjoying that. So tune in for more of that on the Saturday. Uh, you can find all my assorted links here. Uh, one of which is my Discord, which is without doubt the most reliable way to know whether I have gone live, because I I do um, a go live update 
uh, in in that server. So if you don't get any notifications from anything else, like uh, you know, checking us a follow or anything, join the Discord and you will be alerted when I go live. Um, I'm also supporting uh, Stack Up, the charity, so please check them out. Uh, thank you very much, Bamboozle, for the tier 1 sub to Gothic. Yeah, Gothic, thank you very much for the um, gameplay tips today. It's much appreciated. Um, and yeah, if you guys want to follow along, you shall also be alerted, eventually, via Twitch, the next time I go live. So, yes, uh, I think that's everything. Let's go find somebody to raid. Let's go see. Yeah, that's a, that's a solid start. I, I have a funny feeling it may well all go horribly wrong at some point, but uh, we will. We are learning. We are learning from our mistakes. Um, so let's go see who is streaming. Uh, we raided Mighty Wrath last night. Who else is up and about? Don't if you da, 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 da. So let's raid HBFD Gaming. He is playing some Marvel's Midnight Suns at the moment. He is a top chap. Um, yeah, cheers. Uh, cheers, Quinlis. Cheers, Math. Thank you very much. Let me put his... Oh, that didn't work. Wow. Why did that not work? Why is, why is that not working? That's so dumb. Hang on a second. I know how to do this. Why? Okay, Twitch is just being really dumb. Right now? I don't know why. Hang on. There you go, nailed it. Fourth time of asking. Right, I shall put his channel in the chat, like so. Please be kind when you raid. Uh, take care of yourselves in the meantime, and with luck, I shall see you guys on Saturday. So, bye bye